Hello, hello, hello. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Happy Tuesday. How we doing? How we doing, everybody? What's up? What's up? What's up? Carrot, how you doing, man? Want to play cards? Always. Always, always, always. Carrot, how you been, man? I feel like it's been a minute. I hope you're doing well. How you been, my friend? Doing, uh, doing pretty good over here, man. Well, today I've had like this splitting headache all day, but overall I've been good. Only play in space. I mean, if there's anywhere to play cards that I would assume it would be space. Yo, what's up, Ryan? How you doing, my dude? It's good to see you. Ryan, hope all is going well on your end. Acceptable. Acceptable. Acceptable's not bad. Acceptable's not bad. Not care. We've just been chilling, man. Same old stuff. Third baby on the way. You know, grinding the work days out, taking care of the little ones. Some stuff in the game. What you test and right thing. I promise if there's three things in life, it's death, taxes, and care posing. <laughs> there's no doubt about that. Yes. Ah. Some changes to the difficulty setting. Oh, nice. How many difficulty settings are there? Three. And it's a. It's a. Bro, hold on. It's a bro or an orb. It might be an orb. Congrats, to my man. Thank you, Carrot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. Wow, what? Did I steal your thunder tiles? Yo, yo, what's up, Flack? It's a slider, a hundred. Oh, it's a slider. I don't know if I've ever seen a difficulty level like scale with a slider before. That's kind of cool. No, you just took a year to show onesie. I brought it out as soon as I saw your message. God damn. Playing some of the grads on the orb. Thanks, Flack. Thank you. I always wanted to have an orb. It's true. But right then, that's interesting. How's uh how's Boulder Gate 3 treating you, Flack? I've been trying to stay out of the BG3 GFN channel because I saw something in there before and I was like, I don't know if that's a spoiler or not. So I should probably stop reading this. I remember when we were taking events when it was happening like forever ago. Glad it's coming to me. When is baby due? Uh, what's the month before May? That month. April. <laughs> Are you okay? No, I'm tired. I have a splitting headache. I don't know my months. It's true. I have a splitting headache. I've had a splitting headache all day today. I don't know why, but I also don't know my months. Are you having sympathy pregnancy brain? No, I'm just really tired and my head has been pounding all day long. There's four months before <laughs> technically. That's true. I meant the direct month before. Baby's due in April. Baby is due in April. I'm tired, Taz. It's been a long week already. I'm ready for the weekend. Good, enjoy my new runs. So many in performance updates since the release version. Here's the, that's the thing. Flack, have, have you been playing it on your Steam Deck? Cause I feel like recently I had like, I feel like it used to run on my Steam Deck a little bit better than it has been lately. Uh, at least 110% normal mobs have a chance to become an arch type and make them tougher. I like that. I like that a lot. Ah, classic wow names. Never disappoint. 
Are you playing classic WoW Tremolian? Shut the fuck up. No, you're not. Are you playing classic WoW? There's no way. Ow. In your Discord? Hold on, let me see. Hi. <laughs> Ah, that's actually pretty goddamn funny. Fire Raven is a fellow streamer friend of ours. And uh, <laughs> he's playing WoW right now. And there's a screenshot of someone. Their name is I Jerk to Anime. <laughs> ah, I love it so much. Yeah, I never played before though. I have mine set up to run at 40 FPS with the screen set to 40 also, and it plays great. My understanding is that I should expect around 30 in Act 3 though. Okay. I never played before though. Okay. I have mine set to 40. I'll have to see what mine's set at. I'm probably being a total plebe and have it set to 60. Which obviously probably shouldn't do that. It's probably why it runs so goddamn loud. On the deck. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I knew. Yeah. April 15th is always a great day to have a child. It's tax day. A friend of mine had her baby on April. My grandmother was born on April 5th. No shit. Wow. Okay. I mean, both of my kids were pretty damn punctual on their due date. So I'll have to. Uh, I, I forget when the exact date is. I'm not going to lie. When you play it, hopefully I push that patch. If you feel like a bit more challenging, 110 isn't bad. Yeah, oh yeah. I'll definitely play above 100%. Can I change in the middle of the game? Um, how are the sisters feeling about the news? Karen, it's funny you asked that. Emma, very excited. Emma was super stoked. My younger one, totally cool. Uh, my older one, she did not believe me. She did not believe us. She was like, you're lying. You're not telling the truth. And it's, she seemed a little bit more hesitant on the idea of us having another kid. It was actually pretty funny. We weren't expecting that. So Emma was all for it. She seems very excited. Acid can we five more days? Is a good day? Bunch of potheads over here. No, it's because they're, well, I don't know if they won't be putting their business out. We're all PC. I need to play more on PC. I need to play more on PC. For necessity that day. <laughs> That's our kids. Okay, yes, they put, okay. That is their kid's birthday. That's why they say that. Not because they enjoy the devil's lettuce. Enjoyers of the devil, devil's lettuce. Is it legal in Canada? Oh no, we talked about this before. It's legal in certain, certain areas, right? Not every area. It is. All of Canada? Never mind. But there's only there's a certain place where people are like smoking it on the street, right? Is that only in a certain area? I feel like there was something is specific out in public all, in all areas. In public in all areas? In all areas. Okay. In all areas. Okay. Dude, the idea of people just walking down the street smoking a joint, it would be mind blowing to me. I'd be like, what? That's just crazy. Mine is 10 months and we're planning his first birthday since he, like he was six months old. That's awesome, Carrot. I hope it's going well, man. 10 months, I bet you those 10 months have flown by. Oh, I've seen that plenty of times. I mean, I can't say I've seen it plenty of times. I've seen it in like major cities like Vegas. Seen it, like I've seen it, but it's rare. And they're still gonna fucking chuck that shit when a cop walks by. I'm talking like, yo, a cop walks by, I'm like, hey, what's going on? You know what I mean? It should be treated like alcohol, in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, the only difference is, the only difference is, is like secondhand smoke. You know what I mean? 
I'm just talking about like some people might be very conscious about the damage to their lungs. You drinking alcohol, there's no secondhand drinking. You know what I mean? That's the only thing I would kind of push back on. It's all I smell when I work. Oh, I'm sure. I've got no doubt of that. They really have. It's nuts. Carrot, let me tell you something. It's unfortunate news. It just gets worse. The older they get, the faster it becomes. Once they start talking, start moving around, once they start getting to doing activities and shit, it just, the speed, it picks up and picks up and picks up. I work next to the dispenser. I'm like, bro, let me get one of those special cards. From what I've been told, they're not too hard to get, at least in my area. I think it should be treated more like smoking, and I'm a heavy weed pothead. I mean, in regards to drinking in public. Yeah, but even drinking in public, you know what I mean? If someone was smoking in like the same areas where you, like you can technically drink on the beach, right? You know what I mean? People might not want secondhand smoke. Can you smoke cigarettes on the beach? Not here. No, not here. Oh, this is Florida, baby. Come on now. You think we're not drinking on the beach in Florida? What's, <laughs> what are you talking about over here? Uh, treated more like smoking. See, if it was treated like cigarette smoking, Flax got a point. Like designated areas, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. He needs a flashbulb on his chest. He crawls faster than anything I've ever seen. Oh, oh yeah. Especially when they like grab a hold of something, they know that they shouldn't. Fucking like little speed demons. <laughs> they just take off. You're like, oh, like what's that a Lego in your mouth? God damn it, come here. Get a ticket for drinking in public, but don't for smoking weed in public. Hold on, you get a ticket for drinking in public? Like, is that like a common thing? I should go up to the dispenser and ask them if they want to play cards. <laughs> Why not? Can't hurt, right? Or anywhere out in public? I don't know. I I would have a problem with that. So hold on. I'm trying to think. So hold on. What about like concerts and stuff like that? You drink in public, you got to cover it up. Huh. I'm trying to think if there's like any rules like that. If they have a designated bar, it's fine. But I can't take a cooler out to the beach and have a beer. I can't. trying to think the public parks you're not allowed to drink you can buy alcohol from that beer at bar and drink it dude i think you can actually bring like now that i'm thinking about it i think you can bring beer inside disney someone might want to google that because i'm not positive on that but you're allowed to bring a cooler inside the park and i think you can bring your own beer inside to disney I know that might be wild, but I think that is like a thing. Maybe they stop you. You're allowed to bring a cooler. You can, they property has to have a liquor license to drink there or there has to be a private household. Taking alcohol to Universal. I don't know about Universal. I'm talking Disney because Disney allows you to bring a cooler. And I remember thinking to myself, instead of bu buying this $9 beer, I should have brought like my own dollar fifty beer and just bought water. Their five dollar waters at the park for because I we brought a cooler of water and I thought to myself instead of buying a nine dollar beer, I should have brought beer and bought the five dollar bottles of water at the park. I remember thinking that when we were sitting in line, I was like, God damn it! Why do we bring water? We should have brought beer. But, and then I thought to myself, I don't want to be that drunk, disgusting guy in the line at Disney World. Like, ah, I just lied so long. Sweating my ass off. You can't even be drunk in public. I mean, 
I think here's the thing. I think we have those same rules in a lot of places. I know for a fact we can drink. Well, maybe you can't. Maybe you have to have it covered at the beach. It might be flax rule where you have to have it covered. It can't be like an obvious alcoholic drink. It's got to be like in a cup. It, you can't be drinking like beer bottles and beer cans on the beach. I think that's the rule. But even so, like those rules about drinking in public or being drunk in public, it's going to be, unless, you're only going to get a ticket for that if you're being extremely obnoxious. You know what I mean? All right, let's open the game because we've been talking for a long time. <laughs> Now you have to be really intoxicated. Yeah, like you have to be like obnoxiously gross, right? People high in alcohol and bring it to the beach, but you got to pretend it isn't alcohol. Yeah, I don't know. I'd be curious to see like how much stricter it is. Cause like, you know, I'm not like exaggerating and like people like to clown on Florida. And I will say Florida does live up to a stereotype of being a, like a party place, especially on the beaches, especially on spring break. Like, I mean, she gets wild, like real, real quick. They can't taste it or ask you to open your cooler if it is if it has a lock. But if they can smell the alcohol alcohol in your breath, I would assume that gives them like just cause or whatever. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Strict up there, man. But they'll let you just smoke weed anywhere. Like it just seems like kind of like. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do think, I, I personally think alcohol is more harmful than marijuana, but I don't know. When I was in college, I was walking down the street holding a bottle of juice. That was a mixed drink. Cops stopped me, asked me what's in the bottle. I said strawberry and kiwi juice, and he laughed at me and let me go. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, usually they're not so strict. That, that's like kind of my experience is like a strictness kind of like that. Fucking Taz over here admitting that she lied to the cops. Fucking outlaw. The hell. You better teach Liam these these skills. Okay. Where you can drink. You just ha can have alcohol when the sand starts basically. Uh, okay. And the street was packed with drunk students. I mean, yeah, I'm sure all those cops went through it. You know what I mean? I don't know if I was even convincing. Probably gave him that fucking Taz look that you give. And then he probably like pissed his pants and scaredness and walked away. It was like, ha, 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 ha. He, you thought he was laughing. He was actually like laughing from stop from crying. Cause you gave him like the nastiest look he possibly could. Dollar shot karaoke night. What? Dollar shot? Fucking place you party at, Tremont. I want to go there. Kai, thanks for making me moan, buddy. I really appreciate that. I needed that moan. I needed that. Made my head feel better already. Ah, oh, there's a joke there. I did want to say it. I did want to say it, but I was like, eh, it's kind of early for jokes like that right now. Superest, sexiest mans on the interwebs, big poppy sex god Merc Daddy. See, that's a fucking message to come into chat with right there. I mean, reading all that, I just, I mean, TMI, but I just got super horny reading all that. Thank you very much, Kai. <laughs> Where Taz was, the city has three universities in a tired area. It's all bars and student housing. So that's basically Orlando. Orlando, Orlando, Florida is a lot like that. They got UCF, they got a community college, and then they have like a tech school. They're not major universities, but like the community college is kind of like the baby sister to UCF. And then... um the tech school is one I actually wanted to go to, but it was way too expensive called, uh, the hell is that film college film video game design? I'm drawing a blank right now. It's really popular. It's really well known across the country. God damn it. I, that's going to bother me. I got to Google it. 
Hold on a second. Film school Orlando. Full Sail. It's called Full Sail. Full Sail University. I could not remember the name of it. One of those that works at Starbucks has a nickname for me. It's what the fuck? Captain Cowboy Big Daddy P with a silent. <laughs> that's good stuff see it sounds like that that, i don't know whoever that is that that guy sounds like he'd be cool to work with all right we're in the nursing home my g good i'm glad to hear it kai that's good Hopefully things have been going better over there since uh, everything that went down. I hope so. I've had a crazy headache all day today. I don't know what's going on. The old full sale commercials. Oh man, you got me curious now, Flack. Old full sale commercials. Oh, uh, do I not have a map over this area? is absolutely wild sometimes dude those are what make like places like working at a place like that interesting like trust me i dude i miss tgi fridays working there the fucking shenanigans people would put up with pizza was even crazier man pizza dude it was straight up ghetto at pizza hut fuck was that Must be locked from the other side. Uh, but only three hours today. I close Saturday and Sunday, then I'm off to my new store as an hour next. Oh, you're going damn! They're making you go to a whole new store. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. Old manager, yeah. I mean, so we're in a nursing home. This activity room looks fucking awesome. I got a lot of weights here, man. Weights are not cheap. Are the shenanigans in the movie compared to what? Yes. Yes. Apps a hundred. Except for the ball showing game. The ball showing game, not as much. Shit. Dude, I feel like I just got like whiplash. I was hopes that it's fine. Oh wow, Kai, that's fucking huge, dude. Five minutes away from the apartment. That's awesome. <clears throat> there was some of the ball showing game, but that wasn't that wasn't that much. Not to buy a jump scare and didn't have to. Now that like literally just like gave me whiplash. My neck hurts now. Bunch of it. It's like a suspenseful thriller carrot. It's got a very, very intriguing story that leads back to the original game and some DLC with other games like Control. Uh, but it does have some jump scares. For sure. Definitely, yes, plenty of jump scares. But they're very, they're like so sudden. I wish they were like a little bit more girthier. <laughs> Sorry, I had to say that word. But you know what I mean? Like, not just like a fucking flash. I wanted there for like five seconds. I did not see the teaser. I did not. And I'll, I'll tell you why I did not watch the GTA teaser because I honestly have no interest in GTA whatsoever. Door needs a knob. I'm gonna be. This door needs a knob. The fuck? It was that every day in Florida. That's true. That is very, very true. I'm just waiting for the day I can like actually choke somebody out. Isn't sudden a pretty poor? 
No, sudden, I sudden, no, sudden I want. The jump scare, yes, the jump scare is sudden, but like I want it to be a little bit lengthier, just not like a flash frame. I want some like substance to my jump scare. Show you a girthy pickle, Jesus Christ. Right here, jeez. God damn, man, we're all on something. Security computer. Oh, on something tonight. I also don't care for GTA. I mean, I should take a look at it, but I was just not in a rush. On the sub day today in Toronto? Shit, wish it was me. Horny posing fever tonight? Get after it, dude. Day, then month. He uses European formatting. Get after it. I was impressed by the G I'm ready for Florida sim 2025. Yeah, there's like a little thing going around that uh, it actually has like real experiences that have been on the news from Florida. And it has sending it now. He's using bad form. He's using bad form. Oh, hold on. We all got to watch this together. I'm going to teach you guys a little jujitsu here. Okay. Game interruption real quick. Game interruption here. Oh, light mode. Oh, here we go. Everyone comment on the light mode. Here we go. Ah, I'm blinded. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. If you're into that freaky stuff, Merrick, I can choke you giggity. No, I want to choke other people. Well, I've already get choked enough. Trust me. I would archive every Florida man or as research if I were on that game. Oh, yeah. So it's ketchup and mayo. So I'm going to teach you guys something here, right? What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? See, he's not hooking his legs into the inside. He needs to be hooking his legs around this dude's body and like hooking his legs on the inside of his knee slash thigh area. Okay. He is doing a good job of covering. Oh, wait a minute. No, he's got two over hooks. See another mistake. Okay. Another mistake here, people. He should have one arm over the shoulder and another arm under the shoulder. Okay. You need to have one over one under. Okay. Always remember that. That damn light mode out oh, here. We fucking go. He's trying to tap. He's trying to tap. This is a really bad choke. Why is he choking him? Dude, what the fuck he's doing? Why is he choking him? He's doing a bad job of it. This is getting uncomfortable now. He looks like he's like trying to cuddle him. The back, like whatever. I, I, that was, I don't know. I'm a little upset about that guy. He, did, he didn't know what he was done. I'm a little upset. If you're going to choke random people on the subway, at least know how to do it right. Bad day. This is a stupid house where something always breaks. I fix. I always fix. Old people do not respect me. I should ask for a raise. Hurrah. My acceptance letter has arrived. I am one of the gang now. Do Yesaravinya to the boring old Vlad. Hello to the exciting new man about town Vlad. I will buy vodka and herring to celebrate. This month everything will change. Prior to the choking, we'll never know. It's a mystery. It's a Toronto mystery. Line one was delayed. Oh, hold on. TTC service on line one was delayed on Friday morning after a wild altercation. Oh, it doesn't say. He was maybe, maybe it was no, it was late after that. Probably I had to take care of the dead raccoon over by the bunker. Smelled very bad. Not good for my hangover. Huh. A mystery. Showing you man his associate who is not shown in the video attempted to rob my partner on the way to work. The man choking him. Attempted to rob, they attempted to take his backpack and portable speaker from the seat next to him. No one attempted to assist him as this took place except for the activating the emergency alarm. So hold on. The man choking him and his associate attempted... Okay, so the guy that choked him was trying to rob him. The man choking, or like... The dude in the vest. I guess? Needs a password. 
And a warrant, technically. But hey, desperate times. It's assault? That's what it sounds like. It sounds like that dude was a fucking dick. I don't know the password yet. You have been accepted into the prestigious ranks of our most hallowed organization. As such, you will join our noble cause and be privy to, the mo to our most guarded secrets. The ceremony will take place the day after the next new moon as a tradition. The Koskala brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. In that decision, in this situation, I would go apeshit term, would lay some daddy size well on some, uh, I'd push my thumb in it and grab his dick and twist it and stomp him. Dude, you'd be surprised though, man. I don't know. I don't know when someone's got like your neck like that and you can't breathe, I wouldn't panic. Listen, I'm not down you. I'm just curious when the last time you were in a fight was. That's all. I, some people, that's the thing, man. Some people will react that way. Some people have that natural instinct to not panic and to get after it. So I just go wild. <laughs> Full moon. Oh, here we fucking go. It's telling me the moons. I'm going to have to figure something out. Oh, God. This thing already said here, let's do the court. Let's do the case thing because maybe it'll just tell me the answer. That's probably wishful thinking. Come on. Why is it messing up? There we go. Call it initiation letter addressed to Vladimir. Um, who's involved? Think. Oh, call it initiation is signed by. Yeah, so that's. I think I'm missing on a piece of important information. Uh, I'm in the face and took a bite out of when he held me down to make fun of me. <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> Fuck me, pop. If I get to the point of, well, I guess panic, I kind of black out. See, and it's funny you say that because I'm kind of similar in that way. I kind of like have this switch where I kind of just black out. And it happens most of the time when I get hurt. But, uh. So don't do jujitsu then? No, I mean, you don't really get like, I, I mean, for me, that switch has been flipped like only like less than a handful of times. And I'm able to like turn it off real quick. Thank you, Super Geek. I was just holding me. I don't do wrestling in that. Oh, yeah. Then, yeah, definitely no jujitsu for you. <laughs> also, why I can't be a firefighter. All right, so let's go back out here. My dream job. I think I would like being a firefighter. I, I've actually thought about it. Switching careers to be a firefighter. The only thing that like really kind of... The only thing that really holds me back from that is like the like hurricanes around here. Because then I wouldn't be able to be near my family and that would like just fucking make me worry. You know what I mean? Just being away from my girls, like during like shit like that, that would uh, that would make me panic a little bit. Yay, that's unlocked. Cool down. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, the fuck's going on over there? Okay, I feel like I missed something. You guys are. On something today. Something happened. Extra, extra pervy today. I mean, I'm into it. I like it, but the hell's going on? Taz went to the other room. No sense here. <laughs> All right, not in here. It's probably something stupid simple. I want to go in that room. It's locked. 
Still can't believe I haven't found the map. I probably... I probably can figure it out. It said the meaning in the next full moon. Walk away for three minutes. Walk away for three minutes and us boys are just have our hoses whipped out. No, I mean... <laughs> Oh boy. Dub boys. In here, tax. Tax, yeah, tax. I need Outlaw to come in here and tell me what the fuck happened to our Steelers this weekend. That's what I need. That's what I need for tonight. Where's Outlaw? Turbo tax. Tax season's coming up. Why is there a light here? All right, focus up, Merc. <clears throat> Answer's got to be in here. So, what's this thing say again? This one changes. He types has in your phone and autocorrects the tax, so we just call her Turbo Tax now. <laughs> All three things are here, though. Such a preview. The ceremony would take place the day after the next new moon. The day after the next new moon. The day after. What date are we currently on? XXXX, day after the next new moon. The day after the next new moon. So the new moon's on 17th, that's already passed. So this one, day after July 17th. So it's July 18th. So 718, but it's European. It goes backwards. So 1807. Oh, it's five? No. Damn. It's six letters or six numbers. In 718? No, they do it in European format. The day comes first. Seven eighteen Really? No. Oh, well that's dumb. No. It can't be, because it would have to be. It would have to be oh, uh, zero first. Too many, no. Maybe, maybe it's what I said? 18, oh. No. Is it ha I mean, you tell me, is there any place to press enter? Because all I see is... I see a backspace, but... Yeah. This is going to be one of those puzzles I'm going to think about way too hard. Yeah, I did, Kai. It should be that, though. I think.
feel like there's just something I'm missing. My brain is not computing puzzles today. Giving out fake numbers. I, it doesn't surprise me. 1708? No, it should be. Should be 1707. Really? Oh, I got the fucking month wrong? I, see, I told you I don't know my months. It said July, though. It said July. It would be 07. Well, thank you, Natural. I, I, so I was right about the date. I was wrong about the month. Easy. First try. First try. Let's see what this mail looks like. Little door knob that's out of place, but solve these clues and you can trace the way to your private space. I meet you at the greet inside a bright, glassy cage where pretty flowers bloom. There's Tor, and he's out of his mind. Need to get to him. What's he gonna do? <laughs> or any posting in an email I mean who doesn't he's just going around screaming raising his hammer why did you take the doorknob to my personal room I am sick of people of old people tricks you bring it back so I can get my rifle I'm supposed to go on a deer hunt tomorrow if you don't I will hunt you instead Vladimir, I do not need to remind you that Tor and Odin would be ideal candidates for the cult. Please try harder to recruit them. I meet you at the greet inside a bright, glassy cage where pretty flowers bloom. I thought I unlocked the door. Or did, oh, I actually never pressed and it. And the doors are open. Doorknob should be over here, right? This is where all the flowers bloom. How do I get in there? I think I found my answer. But natural, thank you for your help. Hope you're doing well, my dude. Oh my lord. Well, what now? What I do now? Doorknob. Oh, Missy Puppy. I'm sure everything's going to be fine, and I'm sure nothing scary is about to happen. Into the door hole? Who knows? You never know with me. What I get? Oh, manuscript page. I love the manuscript pages. I love how they read them to you. Dale Barrows stared at his chest x-ray. It was in his left lung. It felt like a black hole, an opening to darkness. He felt like he was drowning. He coughed and coughed and coughed. So hard his whole body and soul felt twisted and mangled, upside down and inside out. With every cough, the black hole grew bigger. It felt good. It mm. tore him up, but it felt good. Ugh. Gale was dying. The black hole was sucking everything good out of him. He imagined looking through it into the darkness. The black hole grinned. Gale couldn't escape its gravity. He worshipped it. Gale sacrificed to it in blood. Hmm. Gruesome. Patience, Kai, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Violent outburst resulting from rapid onset dementia. Should be restrained whenever possible until a dosage can be found that impedes his aggression. 
Just for turbo tax. <laughs> People actually call you that, Taz? Uh, nope. Another manuscript page? Another one? Ilmo was nervous. His palms were clammy. He lowered his phone. Mulligan isn't picking up. Yako shook his head, pointed at his own phone. Same with Thornton. Ilmo didn't like it. No one was answering the phone at the workshop in Watery either. Something was up. It had to be the writer. Had to be. The Koskula brothers were crouching in the bushes across from the Elderwood Palace Lodge, its light shining in the night. They couldn't wait any longer. The brothers knew Saga was in Watery visiting her trailer. Going now was their only chance to do this without hurting her. Ilmo stood up and a crowd of deer masks looked his way. Okay, this is it. The rider is the target. No shit. Take him down and it's all over. Only shoot the fed if you have to. This is our big moment. We watch in the night. The crowd murmured the chant back to him. What? Ilmo turned his face to the hotel. He could see Saga's partner in the window. Ilmo slapped his brother on the shoulder. The brothers donned their masks. The cult of the tree was ready. Damn, dude. They straight up, like, carried out a hit on Alan Wake. Pass the tax. Just call you tax. I mean... <laughs> makes it easier, right? Oh, son of a bitch. I don't have enough room in my inventory. On greener pastures now. And then one of them started calling me Becky. Is this for a certain reason? Were you Becky with the good hair? Taz. Were you Becky with the good hair? Or was it Becky with the bad hair? I don't remember. I don't think that's Becky. Pretty sure that was Becky. No? Beyonce? Lemonade? Oh, it is. Yeah, I was about to say. Don't fucking question me on my Beyonce knowledge. Ask Alicia. Alicia? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Gotta make room for all my weapons. Oh, we will. I don't talk to Montreal during hockey season. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's probably the 308 ammo. Um. Hmm. Let's put away the shotgun for now. That's probably going to be a really bad decision, but I just got too much shit in my inventory. So let's put that away. We'll grab the 308 ammo. And then let's go get that rifle. Alicia. I'm just running through all the Alicia's I know. You guys ever like generalize names? Like you know someone by a certain name? Inventory full? What do you mean? Like you know like a certain amount of people with like a specific name and then you forever associate that type of person with that name? How big is this fucking rifle? There we go. The boss we just did, I think it was the third one, more mechanic and harder than any D4 boss. Oh yeah, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it for instance. You've been playing on Game Pass? You played the first one too, right? 
it's probably not one of those games that you have to play the first one to play the second one i'm assuming if it is i'm co totally fine with that i would like to actually play the first one it seems like it would be a lot of fun mm -mm -mm. oh shit Rose didn't mind! Oh, no! I, I get got it! <laughs> Shit. Propose to me! I forgot to put it on a quick. Controller is so sensitive. It's really good. You should try it out. I've actually heard good. Catch up with Tor. I've heard good things about the new dungeon. People are saying that the new dungeon is pretty good. Uh, that would have timed me out for that, right, Tex? <laughs> no. Mittens homemade. A notebook full of daily and antique care. Very pretty. Address inquiries to your friend Rose. Found a box of ammo for a hunting rifle in the cafeteria, Rose. I think you left some behind again. You really should be more careful. Take a tip from Vlad. A fellow weapon enthusiast. Always lock it up. Come collect it from me whenever you can. I bought that tea you said you liked. I can make a cup if you want. VB. This must have been Tors. Oh, shit. Nah, I heard good things about the new dungeon. Good. I'm glad they were uh, able to get something out there that people were enjoying. Shit. I mean that, though. It just tuned us out. I'm just trying to stay focused, is all. I feel like... Uh, this game's probably taking me way longer than it should. What's up, Panda? Good to see you, my dude. Minus a pen? Yeah. Give it to me. Giggity. How you doing, Panda? Dun, dun, dun. Ain't got any ammo. Oh, shit. Oh, what the hell? Good, feeling better. Good, Pan. I'm glad to hear it, man. Glad to hear it. But not engaging like I expected it to be. I disagree with all the praise. You know what it is? It's probably Destiny fans just like desperate for any piece of content at this point. 
That's what I would imagine it being. So, like, anything remotely decent, they're just, like, claiming for the bit at, you know? I'm glad to hear you're feeling better, Panda. Being sick sucks. Another manuscript page. Odin loses an eye. I'm desperate for any kind that is remotely good. It's true. It's true, man. You know what's funny? So, Kai, have you played Remnant yet? Because someone told me, they were like, this is like the, the closest thing you can get to Destiny right now, was Remnant. And after playing the first one, I can see why people said that. Yeah, they keep buying the micro and sending the completely wrong message. Yeah, natural. It's tough, man. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, you are right. You are right. But at the same time, I, I don't know. Because, like, the point in my head, I, I think, is, like, if you don't support them, then they go under, right? And then you never have any more Destiny content. So then it, you don't get any hope of ever getting any good Destiny content. But I am under the assumption, and it probably is way off, but I, I just, I honestly think Bungie is not focused on Destiny right now. I, I think they're kind of, I don't know if they're going to put, completely put it by the wayside or if they're just moving on to something else, but I really genuinely do believe that they're kind of just letting go of Destiny slowly but surely. It's 1988. A face-off between deities on the rim of Cauldron Lake, high above its dark waters. Epic. Thunder roared, the old gods facing something even more powerful, something harder to define even. Or, changing the perspective, raving lunatics all, caught up in the frenzy of a shared delusion. Acid trip. The old gods, the corsairs of the Sea of Night, and the Dark One who yearned to stand in between, who had always stood in between. Who would soon stand in between we help you you stay away from our family tor anderson snarled over the thunder oh shit. yes until you all come to me came the answer that's never gonna happen shouted odin i will take this as collateral shall you remember our deal said the dark one blood arched from odin's face as he fell to his knees lightning hit the dark figure on the cliff and with that he was gone tor rushed to his brother are you all right, bro? Effectively blind in that moment, the eye patch covering his left eye, his hand over the now empty socket of his right, blood oozing out of it. Odin cursed. The bastard took the wrong eye. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Is that the D2 player space is way down, less people are playing than over years past, and even less people own the dungeon pass than I think we realize, therefore the dungeon is being played by fun. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's the thing. They are hurting. There's no doubt about it. Destiny's hurting. It's it's bleeding right now. Can't make a good game and make it profitable with ethical methods. You shouldn't be making games. The Forsaken as soon as the season pass it. I, I, was, uh, I was out after Deepstone Crypt, pretty much. And no pay to win micro for a free to play, especially if they pump out free content, not behind a paywall. Well, that last part is where it would get you to Merlion. One of the most expensive games. I'm just saying in general, yeah. I agree and disagree with you. The season pass model worked for quite some time. That Then it got repetitive and stale and there was no meaningful innovation. I haven't tried to yet. I want to play with people. Only a whole ass of people paid for. I don't care if it's kind of anti-consumer by nature. Um, see, I listen. This is the argument where I, I throw out the craziest idea out of all the Destiny players, and I don't feel like anybody ever agrees with me on it. I said from the very beginning, ever since they started. Uh, putting the season pass in to make it a subscription based game and people thought I was fucking crazy for saying that but that's generally genuinely how I feel as I feel now don't get me wrong I don't think you should have they should be doing the content the way they're doing it with a subscription base I just feel if they had a subscription base they would be more inclined to add more content 
buy thing, get thing. Absolutely have been subscribed, but the season pass makes more money because it's scummier in FOMO. Fear of missing out. Yeah. I mean, to a certain extent, yes. I, I like, I don't know. I've been out of it for so long. Because, yeah, you can't play the story content of a season until you buy the season pass, right? Or can you do the story content? I'm a, I'm a little hazy on that. Oh, shh. This, the jump scares are getting worse. The jump scares are getting worse. <sighs> Yo, what's up, Shadow? How you doing, buddy? Originally on Con, which is why they didn't have a subscription base. Uh, I think Destiny 2 was the official launch of PC. I think Destiny was console only, and I, or maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe it came out late. Maybe it wasn't at launch. I don't remember, Panda, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. I know I started out playing on console. What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? Profiling. I honestly can't remember though, Panda. I want to say... No, it probably launched like a year after the launch like PC it launched on PC a year after the initial launch I cannot remember though Rose watched Tora go into the pond Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan The hero will say wake has returned We're all characters in his story Gee whiz I'm not his fucking character but I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Oh. PlayStation 4, Xbox One, September 6th, and then Windows, October 24th. So a little over a month later. Okay. Yeah, a little over a month later. Okay, so it wasn't that long. Cynthia took tour. That's why it felt like what it was basically her? at launch. When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoe box. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? Hmm. I mean, Destiny just feels like it should be a PC game, though, if I'm being perfectly honest. But yeah, you're right. That's probably why I didn't do a subscription base, because it was more console based at that point, because everyone was coming off of the first one. Everyone coming off the first one, they were probably still playing mostly on console, so they didn't want to do a subscription base. Yeah, uh, what's up, Roxy? Rose. Um... Wake has returned. Oh my god. You're the hero. You're here to save Alan. I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Torngale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. Well, she's become extremely helpful all of a sudden. Wow. Saw the selector on the jukebox, the missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. 
Yo. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. Oh, I gotta talk to Odin. Panda, thank you for gifting a sub to Roxy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Panda. Very generous of you, my dude. Very kind. To be honest, Triple A Gaming in general needs a whole overhaul, revamp, and ultimatum even. Uh, I mean, they definitely need a new outlook, especially after a game like Boulder's Gate 3 just dropped. But thank you so much, Panda. I greatly appreciate it, buddy. Yo, how's, uh, do you watch, um, Queen anymore, Panda? Is she on kick now, or I haven't seen much from her lately. Games are too expensive to make today. Large publishers want to make profits before quality. Those two combined have aided in anti-consumer behaviors that hurt the people of the industry and above all the people that make the games. Here's the thing, Kai. And I'll, I'll, I'll stand by this all day long is you're you're absolutely right about that and the proof that we have are these quality games that we're getting that we're getting these days made by like literally just a single person you know mortuary assistant uh chained echoes um you know what i mean like we're seeing that more and more and not only that but just games made by small teams you know a handful of people like 15 20 people we're seeing it all the time Queen doesn't stream on her board. It's been a while. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, if you talk to her at all, Panda, tell her I hope her she's doing well. Ooh, purple narwhal. Thank you for the braid. Thank you, thank you, thank you, narwhal. How we doing tonight? Games are not to make. That's a myth. Well, that's that's what they like to say, though. That's what they like to say. And a, a game like Destiny. Yeah. Like they'll say that all day long because they've got a bajillion people to pay for God knows what. I'll read that later, Kai. I got a tab open for it. But just because they can spend that much doesn't mean that they should. You know what I mean? If you can't create your own assets, it gets expensive. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. But even then, like, your assets don't have to be, like, your game doesn't have to be top polish. Like, some people might complain, but, like, I don't know. I would argue if AAA Studios took more time and, in, and like, really, really focused on projects instead of just trying to turn them out, turn them out, turn them out, that they would make more money in the long run because people will want to buy their games. And I, I don't think microtransactions are, are bad as long as they're cosmetic only. Hell, even if they're pay to win, like there's even a realm or universe where a game could have pay to win microtransactions and still be good and fun to play for the people that are free to play. I do genuinely believe that. I can't tell you right off the, my dome right now how that could work, but I feel like there is a possibility in that. Yes, everyone go. Please follow our friend, our good, good friend, Purple Pink Narwhal. Everyone, make sure you go give her some love. Thank you for the raid again, Narwhal. But Larian Sue has a backer, but they didn't help with BG3, but they are own 20% owned by them. Worst company in the world, too. What company, Tamolian? It's exact cost way too much for how little they provide. I would agree with that. Uh, I mean, that's like almost every major company natural. 316 million to make Cyberpunk 2077. And that's fucking crazy for CD Projekt Red. Because I feel like that's way too much money for them. You could replace the CEO with an AI and it would be just as effective. I think both gamers in the industry need to change. The gamers are just more and more demanding and the games try to do too much at the same time. Yeah, I, yeah. But I think gamers, I don't think gamers are more, gamers are more demanding, but I think it's only we're demanding because we get so many video games these days. We get way more than we ever have before, but like 60% of them either run like shit or just suck. You know what I mean? Either we're running into tech issues on PC, or even on console, you know, or they're just unfinished. 
You know, oh, Tencent. Oh. Fucking Baldur's Gate 3. Uninstall. Never playing again. I can't fucking believe you guys are making me play this piece of shit Tencent-owned fucking game. But we're playing Mass Effect 2, and that's pretty cool. I mean, Mass Effect 2 is one of my favorite games, y'all. If you're not following Purple Pink Narwhal, you're doing yourself a great disservice. Mm-hmm. Gamers should absolutely be demanding. But imagine Skyrim being released today. It, well, yeah, because Skyrim looks like dog doo-doo. <laughs> <laughs> but you just wait six months, and you get someone to make a killer-ass mod for it and makes it look really good again. Is the Belgium? It's just the Belgium studio, though. Oh, that's interesting. That's kind of strange, huh? I wonder why that is. I mean, let's be honest. Skyrim kind of looked like dog doo doo even when it came out at launch. But I mean, if Skyrim came out today, yeah. All right, I see your point. I do see your point because it'd be a buggy mess. I don't know. They basically have a hand in every game and come to see money in it and buy it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't I don't know anything about them, so what happened to Tor just now? Cynthia. I was kidding. Ugh, I knew someone was messing with Tor's head. There's something wrong with the water here. Pipes acting up, black stuff coming out. Yummy. <sighs> Cynthia's probably behind that too. Does Scoss. Cynthia have any connection to the cult of the tree? <laughs> Oh no, she's way too frail for that. But she used to be this town's best defense against the forces of darkness. Well, after Alan. Huh. But I guess it finally got her. You're the one leaving those Alex Casey lunchboxes around, aren't you? Mm. Guilty. They were the only Alan related containers I could find online. He told me to destroy the Taken around town, and I needed some way to stash my gear. I even recruited Mandy May to make knitwork decorations to mark the sites. The stashes are for you, too. You being the hero and all. Thanks. I already have been. Cynthia gave you the clicker in Alan Wake 1. It was the worst thing on consoles. Saves deleting. Yeah, but people didn't care. People didn't care. That was the thing. Starfield. I can't. I haven't played Starfield, so I can't say to that. I think Starfield would have probably done a lot better if it didn't launch right after Baldur's Gate 3, but. You need to get the residents out of here. It's not safe. Oh, this kind of stuff rolls right off their backs. They've Cynthia gave us the clicker in Alan Wake 1? Very resilient. But I already told everyone to wait at the designated muster point on the front porch. We oh. run drills every few months. I thought we I'm so proud of them. Found it. I'm impressed by how prepared you are. We're pretty used to this kind of thing. Pretty used to it? Wake is in custody. How have you been in contact with him? He leaves me messages and funny places like the newspaper books once he even wrote to me with a cloud if it's something really important he tells me in a dream okay and what does he say to you with these clouds ways i can help him how i can stay safe good dinner recipes ways to kill taken lots of stuff i've been finding some pages of writing lately too so he must be working on a new book <laughs> She's lost her goddamn mind. Wake tells you how to kill Taken. Oh sure. Narwhal, how are you you're doing lately? Hero, so you must know all about it. All you need is a strong light, and then your conventional methods of extreme violence. Simple stuff. The tough part is hiding the bodies. Jesus. I honestly don't know how to react. To oh this. my God. Just doing my part, sister. Do you think she's actually killing? Taken or is she killing actual people? Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. 
Standing there, Saga felt exposed. Expecting the shadows to come alive. The needle crackled on the vinyl. The song swelled. Oh! Gordon had said it was written for her and her mother. The light place. The grandfather's apology. The lamentation of an old man. His heart was broken. Sinking into darkness. Odin had said that the song would be a way to know Tor. A way to find him. A light bloomed in through the garden window. That's where Tor had vanished into the pond. Saga knew what she had to do. It makes sense. I, I remember now, natural. As soon as I saw, like, an image of her. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. I didn't really listen. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. Standing there, Saga felt exposed. Expecting the shadows to come alive. The needle crackled on the vinyl. The song swelled. Odin had said it was written for her and her mother. Her grandfather's apology. The lamentation of an old man. His heart was broken. Sinking into darkness. Odin had said that the song would be a way to know Tor. A way to find him. A light bloomed in through the garden window. That's where Tor had vanished into the pond. Saga knew what she had to do. Narwhal, I need you to stop hurting yourself. I really, really need you to stop hurting yourself. <laughs> the page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion. Raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. Tours like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you, even if it broke your grandfather's heart and mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. The museum? He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. Where's the museum? Uh, with Alan Wake's story, I am uh, have to go back to his apartment. That's where I'm at with his story. We made it through the hotel with Thomas Zane's film, uh, the play and everything, the murder case. We have to go back to his apartment now. Let's see. Bulls Panthers Radio, huh? Stand still to enter improves. Saga fired the rifle, hit the taken again, pulled back the bolt to reload. She fired again, another hit. And faster, then it feels again, yet faster. Again. I mean, that's the way usually strange, lethal feedback bruises are speeding up. At least in my experience, bruises usually look way nastier than they feel. Where the hell is this museum she talks about? Do I have a map of this area? I do. Point of interest. Nice. Somebody here is Wake's number one fan. Rose? Error. So is that it? Yeah. Conversation, new choices. Like outside? Oh shit. To the emergency muster point. <laughs> <laughs> Man. 
Mandy May. Are you all right? You're bleeding. Oh my God, oh. look at her fingers. How did that happen? Oh no, Mandy May. Oh, oh no. Oh, don't be a crybaby, Norman. It's nothing. I just poked my finger knitting this monster of a blanket. Is there anyone who didn't show up? A few. Why do you ask, uh, Taz? Gail, Cynthia. If oh. they aren't here by now, then they aren't coming. It's important to be punctual. On that topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decaf coffee service is almost half an hour behind schedule. Oh, shit. Dude, there's so many to talk to him. Have any of you noticed anything odd about Ms. Weaver? Just that Tor won't leave the poor woman alone. That brute wants one thing and one thing only. Cynthia's gotten downright bossy. Take a swim in the pond, Norman. Drink some water, Norman. Well, no one tells Norman MacDonald what to do. You all should stay out here a while. Until it's safe. I'm happy to get out of that house. Isn't it strange that I've lived in Bright Falls my whole life and I can't remember this building? The house has always been here, Norman. Or has it? Remember when that poor Nora girl <clears throat> drowned in the bunker? Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. You get what you pay for. What? Hello there. Are you Pat Main from the radio? That's me. And you're the federal agent everyone's been talking about. Would you have time for an interview at some point? Oh, sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Mm. Love your show, though. Very informative. Mm. Thank you. Never a compromise on quality. That's my motto. That we'd be happy to have you on the show any time. Me and my listeners. Well, that was nice. All right, well, glad we got those. Is there like a, a actual museum like around here? All right, let's go upstairs. There's a locked door. Auntie has a conversation on the third floor and there's a basement. Did not know there was a basement. Lovely. Oh boy. Odin stuck in bed. This should be good. Odin Anderson stirred in his bed, his vision hazy, smudged. He felt weighted down by an ocean of dark water. Through the haze, he made out Saga. Odin felt useless. He wished he could tell Saga how his silly faces made her smile when she was young, too young to remember. Odin used to joke that Tor was her grandfather, but he was the all-father. He smiled at the memory. Odin was the kinder of the Anderson brothers. Tor lacked patience, more volatile. The brothers fought a lot, but they were inseparable. Now Tor was missing, dragged into darkness. Odin could feel it. Time was running out for both of them. Oh man, it's kind of sad. I love Odin and Tor, man. can't say shit damn dude that's kind of sad all right so what is on this floor just a locked door at or donna all right let's see if we can open that locked door i don't think we can or Oh, this is the museum. Uh. 
Trash hotel rooms and ruined pools. Crowd goes wild for the Old Gar Gods of Asgard Ragnarok tour. The rock and roll group Old Gods of Asgard are leaving chaos in their wake as they plow through the major U.S. cities on their aptly named Ragnarok tour. The band is breaking their sales records with singles topping the charts and had their latest sold-out concert in Long Beach, California. The fans showed their love for the Reckless Rockers by showering the stage with lacy unmentionables, black roses, and even full beer bottles. None of this fazed the stars themselves, who embraced the admiration and transitioned from song to song with such gusto that the audience was left catching their breath, eager to keep up with the brothers Anderson and their cohorts. After hours, after hours shenanigans for the musicians included a pool in a private residential neighborhood left to be emptied and sanitized, and a hotel room nearly destroyed in a classical fashion, not to mention the lengthy room service bill gone unpaid. All things point to this band quickly becoming a strong contender to the iconic Hall of Fame rock groups that came before them. Old gods of Asgard party like their namesakes and give a performance like no other. Be sure to catch them on tour and bear witness to rock history in the making. Legendary heavy rock band Old Gods of Asgard mourn the loss of their divinely talented guitarist Bob Balder. Fat Bob, as he was affectionately ironically called, died from complications as a fear illness, leaving his bandmate Odin and Tor Anderson behind. The peace-loving musician will be sorely missed also by the band's numerous fans. When asked about his loss, Tor Anderson had this to say, Get the fuck out of my face. Boulder is in Valhalla now. He fought cancer like a hero. Oh, man. Uh, the, I think I'm going to get the world tree tattooed on my back one day. Oh, that would be kind of cool. Where, Like, where? At? Lower back? Higher back? Like, right in the middle? I imagine it, like, kind of, like, right in the middle. Like, the tree trunk going up the spine, kind of. That'd actually be pretty dope. <clears throat> I sit down with Odin. Da, 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 da. How has the reception been? Amazing. The fans understand what we're about. They get rock and roll. They get the spirit. They know we're not here to fuck around. That's fucking right. Why do you want to do or why do you do what you do? I can tell you're new at this, buddy. Why does anyone do what they do? For the glory and the fame? For the money and the sex? Or because you have something inside you that is going to burr, censored, burst out if you don't start using it? It's the latter. <laughs> How about music then? What is it about music that compels you? Hmm... There's the record. Oh! Ooh. Anger's remorse. This is the one. But it's gone. Cynthia has the record. She will tell me where to find it. Great. She's got the record. Like on my spine. I like it. I can actually envision that, Narwhal. I think that's a pretty sweet idea. It sounds like it's me anyway. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with a nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. The dark presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. For each character. Where is Angus' remorse now? Beauty is a young girl in love. A broken wrong cliche. The shadows to come alive. A gift. An on of death wish. She has the record. I can get it out of her. Angus' remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. The bathroom frightened her. Cut short. She screamed. An old folks care home.
The anger's remorse record is in Cynthia's room. In her bathtub. Now, the last part I did with Alan was, um, after, yeah, the hotel. Yeah, you're right, Flack. You're right. I don't know what I was thinking I was going to say, but yes, the last case was the hotel. I got to go to his apartment next. What was that? I kind of missed this one. Where is Angus Remorse now? Beauty is a young girl in love. A rock and roll cliche. The shadows to come alive. A gift. An on of death wish. Hmm. She has the record. I can get it out of her. So then I had another Odin one. Anger's remorse is missing. Who took it? Our shame becomes the pale horse. Oh, Tor, bro. Tor's love for you is in that song. That's why Cynthia wants it, to ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now he's fallen for another, and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has torn the overlap. Anger's remorse is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. Hmm. And the place is on the tray. I, I can envision it, Narwhal. I'm liking it, honestly. I still don't have the wellness center map. It kind of bothers me. Uh, let's go up another. No, <laughs> no, not me, Flack. They'll buy B and L. No. Is there a room up here? Oh, it is Cynthia. Do you know anything about? The cult of the tree. Yes, yes. He who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Bloom was one of them. He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes, but I like his shoes. <laughs> How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's a crazy man, and he will show his ways. Bloom like to talk. <laughs> hmm. I'm just horrible with acronyms, Flag. I know bear, the Bare Naked Ladies. I don't remember that song, though. I'd probably know it if I heard it. I'm sure I've heard it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's been a while. It has been a while. Okay, well, I have a feeling some shit's gonna go down when I go into Cynthia's room. Where's this basement at? I see on the map that there's a basement. How the hell do I get to the basement? Mm. Oh, it's right there. Oh, outside. Right? This way. So I just walked out there. Should be. I need bolt cutters. Oh. No, I don't. Should be. Oh, okay. Try my brain going into the room at night. <laughs> early was the best choice I could have made for myself today. I like early streams, Narwhal. I wish I could stream more often during the day. 
Make sure you not only exhaust all of it, but stick around a little after and listen to him mumble shit to himself later in the chapter, but not sure. Got it. Okay. So later than I already am, because I feel like I'm pretty far into this chapter. Oh, I walked away from this. I remember that. So I was around him earlier, but I don't remember him saying anything of significance. Yeah, right? No, I have not fought any bosses yet. Well, unless that double-sided thing was considered a boss in the, uh, like, workout room. I don't know if that was considered a boss or not. I get a home by the, so that's always nice. Oh yeah. Buy more fuses, many more crappy old equipment keeps them blowing them out. Another manuscript page. Wheeler used to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back, an on-off death wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink. Got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. What? PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak. <laughs> That's just an enemy type now. Lovely. How big's the basement? Am I like supposed to be down here yet? Bro, spare fuse is now locked away because someone Ati keeps stealing them. Code is in the laundry room. Code is in the laundry room. Another manuscript page. Emmett Elwood had had enough. All his life he'd been surrounded by the same small-minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Their endless gossip, their nose-picking, chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom, and touching things. <laughs> touching everything. The world was going to hell. He'd watch day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There would be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. Jesus. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He beat them down, beat them until they no longer moved. Dear. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. <laughs> I'm old. I want to get a job as in just fuck with people in mundane ways, like <laughs> just stealing fuses and shit, putting the toilet paper, replacing the toilet paper the wrong way. Random little things. Is 
dun, dun, dun. taking batteries out of the TV remotes. A lot of noises in this place. Renowned Phil establishes artist commune Thomas Zane. His par partner Barbara Jagger recently established an artist commune here in Bright Falls. Mr. Zane has purchased the old manor house outside town and the couple has already settled in. In his home country and internationally as well, Mr. Zane is a well-known and respected auteur filmmaker. A rising star already compared to the likes of Stanley Kubrick and Ingmar Bergman. His earlier film, Nightless Night, won a number of European film awards. Mr. Zane is currently in the process of filming a feature entitled Tom the Poet. In conversations, Mr. Zane comes across as a charismatic figure with big dreams. He talks about building a hotel and a film studio in the area. He even has a name picked out for the hotel. Ocean View Hotel. I just got goosebumps. All right. Oh, what the fuck? This reporter believes the name has a nice ring to it. Mr. Zane's dreams will certainly make Bright Falls a household name if they became reality. Members of the commune clear feel, clearly feel the same way, seeing Zane as a person worth revering. 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 Even to a faintly cult-like degree, a person who guides his flock to expand their consciousness and to reach a higher state of artistic inspiration with the aid of magic mushrooms. While the Bright Falls record does not condone the use of illegal drugs, we hope Mr. Zane will help put our town on the artistic map. Dude, did Thomas Zane... <sighs> Is this something they watch on movie night? That looks just like Casey. What the hell is going on? I don't see anything. What the fuck? That's nice. Bro. Oh. That's nice. That sounded like a very important thing. I kind of want to reload. Five minutes ago. That shit sucked. In the next Allen chapter, I'll be pissed. Bro, like, that seems significant, especially after reading that fucking letter article about Thomas Zane the record and I brought it back wait I didn't bring the record back missed it something like glitched out it was like supposed to show a film but it wasn't showing a film look I can't even fucking grab that Dude, this game is bugging. Must be locked from the other side. This game is bugging out hard right now. I don't know. I might have to reload. I couldn't grab those pair of batteries. The whole screen was gone. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Yep. Making sure I grab everything again. At least stuff that I can grab anyway. Got to find the right angle. I <laughs> got yeah. Fuck that. I blame Epic. It's going to bother me. All right, we got everything right. <laughs> got to do that when the game's pissing me off. You got to piss me off. I'm just going to click it. 
Is this something they watch on Dude, movie Dude, it's like legit glitched out. Am I supposed to have to scream down? That what the fuck's like going on? What the hell is going on? Can someone find me this on YouTube? So I can actually see what the fuck's going on. keeps calling him Tom. You didn't turn the power on yet? I had the same thing happen to me. Uh, so I can't do it over again? Inter interact with the projector yet? Oh, uh, okay. One last time then. I got to turn the power on first. Don't click that until I turn the power on. Gotcha. I feel like I'm doing this like out of order. I feel like I should get the record first and then coming out of the basement. I hope Since I don't like the record and I brought it back. See, I didn't bring the record back yet. And she just said, I brought it back. I don't have the record yet. I think I'm doing things like out of order and I think it's fucking the game up. No, this is correct. Okay. Inventory is full. Oh, it's, is it different stuff every time you open it? It's random. It's random what you get when you open a thing. I just, I never knew that. Interesting. Got a lot of shotgun ammo. It's very interesting. I had no idea. Fucking shine ass health pack. Oh. I don't like how it just doesn't automatically organize your inventory. It should be correct. Like you went up to her room and when you got there, she turned the power off, right? No, I didn't go to her room at all. <laughs> that's what i'm saying i didn't go, like i realized that i had to go to her room and then i was like well fuck i didn't go to the basement yet let me go to the basement before i went to her room that's what i'm saying i think i fucked the game up weird let me go back to her room then because i feel like i'm fucking things up and i want to see that Tell you about the basement? No. No, I used uh, Rose's key fob to get down here. Adi, Adi, no, Adi didn't tell me shit. I'm fucking with you here. Let me go to her room then. I might have fucked up the whole game. Chubb is going on a rant about what? everything given to them and not want to work for anything yeah why would we want to work for something we do that enough throughout like during the day why the fuck do we want to work i don't got time to work i got i'm about to have three kids i don't got time to work when i play video games give me my shit i paid for it Ooh, crackers Yeah, but the way they give it to you is to spend your hard-earned money you work for so counterproductive. Oh, yeah, I don't want to do that either. Just give me stuff. Is it worth it? I don't trust many fucking reviews, and I have heard less than savorable your opinion on Alan Wake 2. 
uh raven king it's really really good it is really 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 good um would i pay 70 dollars is this 70 dollars full price would i pay 70 dollars for it probably not would i pay 50 dollars for it yes but i'm a frugal person but it is really really good raven king i i will give it that and you have to you kind of get have to you don't have to but you should know what the background of the story is while i mash buttons yeah exactly flack wheeler set up a foundation with the sales of their greatest hits album he used the cash to build a nursing facility the old men deserved it an old manor in bright falls wheeler hired a contractor to have it refitted as an old folks care home at this point wheeler felt good about himself he had a heart of gold no need to feel guilty wheeler left the work to the contractor and returned to new york city and he died he had done his part it was time to turn over a new leaf the contractors figured out wheeler was gone for good oh no they took the money and ran <gasps> when the fall rains came the leaks started appearing oh no that's kind of shitty nice raven king it is really good though genuinely like game of the year type of material for sure it's fantastic <laughs> I just like fucking spit on myself when that happened. Oh my god. No use crying in the dark place. What has been has gone. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator okay thanks Adi. Look out. you can never know in which street the devil sits the basement thanks the talk shit nah like i don't know i've heard i've been hearing generally pretty good things from it about it tell me it was bad no nah, i've thoroughly enjoyed it it's 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 d d take it this way raven king did you enjoy the first one makes the best noises <laughs> that was probably the hardest scare yeah i don't know why tonight's like hitting me so hard compared to like any other night but tonight's really been fucking me up with these scares enjoyed all of them so i'm assuming this one will hit the same better this one this one is light This one is light years ahead of the first one. This one's way, way, way better than the first one. I'll be honest with you. I like, I thought the first one was okay. Very innovative, but like, I mean, for when it came out, I bet you it was really good then, but it was kind of, I always have a theory about going back to older games. I thought it was pretty good, but I wasn't blown away at as some others were but again i played it now not when it came out dude the fucking water noise N not into it what is that why do i hear something oh oh god i heard it Stop it! Where's it coming from? What? Darkness and rain. Oh my god, you suck. Where's this other guy at? I hear him, but I don't see him. Oh no, I didn't like that. <gasps> Shit! Fucking hell again! I already got I one. Let's get the power back on. I already got that one. 
Why are they repeating scares? Still have the vibe as I did when it dropped it is not one of them, honestly. Yeah. I like the fact that it's unique in its gameplay. The whole like flashlight light thing, you know what I mean? The flares and whatnot. I think it's kind of cool. All right, so we're back here. Can I open this one now? No. Say it's in the lunchroom or laundry room, not lunchroom. All right, for the third time, we can pretend to read that. Old janitor about to go crazy, murder all the older people at the old folks home. Okay, don't interact with that thing, even though it's giving me the option to. This was pretty insane. Oh, that's probably where the fuse is. I need to go to the laundry room, though. Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. Cynthia Weaver hated being old. <laughs> She'd been a doer. A fighter. Now the bathroom frightened her, afraid she'd break her hip, like Norman. Cynthia had always kept her lantern close to hold the darkness at bay. Oh dear, my lantern. I think I've lost it, Cynthia said. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear, a voice said. A man's voice. Someone in the bathroom with her, in the dark. The light bulb had blown. She meant to replace it days ago. How could she forget? She had slipped getting out of the tub. <gasps> she lay in the tub now. Oh, no. She lifted her hand. It looked wrong. Too many hands. In a black void with no sense of up or down, she was underwater. A dark shape pushed her down. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. It came out in bubbles. Oh, shit. <sighs> Oh, I didn't say anything, Raven King. I was just like, yeah, I mean, I I could totally see that. Alan Wake, I, I have no doubt. It, I think it was really good for its time, but I mean, <laughs> I don't think it necessarily aged very well. But that's my opinion. Again, I don't have the nostalgia of playing it. Uh, when it first launched that might have a, a huge factor got a lot of shotgun ammo let's put this crossbow away for a little bit the very niche 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 weapon God, I wish the D-pad wasn't so damn sensitive. Oh, uh, well, this does to this day, but I know others. It's really preference. I don't feel the first age the best either. Yeah. And, like, I'm not shitting on it at all. I, I do think it was a really good game. But it was also like talked up a lot to me as well. Mm -hmm. Kind of thing, you know? Oh yeah, I mean, we all have our retro games that we all vibe with, you know what I mean? That still stick with us. 
Even though it might not stick with others. Like Diablo 2 is fucking chill. I still love that game. 273. If Rose, if you see this, please remind the residents to leave my stuff alone. I think they hate me. <laughs> 273. Got a fuse. A fuse could come in handy. There. Power's back on. Power's back on, folks. Try hitting that projector. Oh, there we go. Look at that. D2, the original, is installed right now because I wanted that nostalgia lately. Resurrected was good, though. Oh, Resurrected was fantastic. I thought they did a great job. And the fact that they're actually, like, making new seasons for it, that's so wild that after so long, we're getting new seasons to Diablo 2. Is this something they watch on movie night? That looks just like Casey. What the hell is going on? fuck is going on dude i have goosebumps uh, it's only on yeah i've enjoyed four i'm still playing diablo four i don't know i've enjoyed four i really have Oh, for sure, Raven King. If you're planning on playing this, dude, you might want to get out. I don't want you to get spoiled by this game. And trust me, like, yeah, I mean, just seeing that, you kind of already got a little. Careful, Saga. I love this game. It's definitely a mind fuck and a half. It's a mind fuck and a half. I hear a bat. Is someone like glitched out? Like. I hear a bad guy. I don't see one though. Restless dreams. Crossing the line. Just around the corner. Good job, Saga. Now keep moving. <sighs> no, I'm delved into the history rabbit hole right now. <laughs> oh, Rose is gone. Rose disappeared. Okay. Um. I want to make sure we got everything. Oh, I missed some bullets down there. Whatever. All right, we're uh, we're going to Cynthia's room. Fuck you, Cynthia. 
Just talking about. Just talking about Saga's daughter. down was Cynthia into civil engineering uh-huh you could say that a power station everyone needs a hobby I guess a lantern uh, what did she say was uh, Cynthia using it for protection a lantern why did, did she you know about the dark presence she she said lantern very oddly there uh, was it just me? I feel like I'm missing some context here. I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. I wonder if that's Thomas Zane. Place is wrecked. The dark presence uses people's memories, their fears to corrupt them. I went down to the basement today to check the lights. I can't trust Blum to do it. He's too slow, but it's getting harder and harder for me to reach them. I can't keep up much longer. Tom's lamp is gone. The lamp with the angel on it. He always loved that lamp. It disappeared from my room. The darkness is here after all these years. It took Tom's lamp. I know it did. The lights are going out more and more. There's no one left to stop it. I can't do it on my own. Not anymore. I have nothing left of Tom now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need Tom's lamp back. I need Tom back. Shadows are moving. There's no... There's no more light. No more lamps. I can't find my way out of the room. Someone locked the door. Did I pick it? Or did I lock it? Maybe Tom did. He probably did it to keep me safe. He is such a considerate man. Barbara doesn't deserve him. Tom could do so much better. Where did Tom's lamp go? I used to have it. I guess he took it back. That's fine. It was his after all. The shadows are moving. Did I write that? Nonsense. There are no shadows. It's just us. Tom and I. Forever. I found something funny while I was down there. A newspaper article about Tom. But it called him a filmmaker. Thomas didn't make movies. He was a poet. A magnificent poet. I dug around and found film equipment supposedly also Tom's. What is happening? This isn't right. I know it isn't. Interesting. So if he... I'm so fucking confused. Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas Sane. Who is he? Tom was back. Tom had enemies. And a fancy hotel. Did he though? Just his imagination. A nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Maybe Tom was taken. Tom was the taken. He's before Alan. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Mind space currently unavailable? Oh, okay. Cynthia Weaver smiled. Lost without her lantern? Nonsense. Cynthia felt as giddy as a young girl in love. Cynthia had loved Thomas Zane. Tom only had eyes for Barbara. Barbara was bad news. Tom had seen it in the end. Cynthia had been there to comfort him. And when he left, Cynthia waited. Years of waiting. Now Tom had come back to her. They'd be together now. See the world. She'd always dreamed of seeing New York. They were there now in a fancy hotel. She drew a bath. She would become like Barbara. No. Better. She sank into dark water into Tom. Tom had enemies plotting against him. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, 
Always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Anything for Tom. Yeah, look, the scratched out part was replaced by the the sick part. This is so interesting. So I feel like Alan wrote a story and then Mr. Scratch took it over and made revisions to it. How does that play into the plot? Well, I mean, we're going through his revisions, obviously. But like, what does that mean for us? Anger's remorse by old gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. This is gonna be a gnarly record. It's pretty awful. No shit, natural, seriously? If they don't win game of the year after that, I don't know what, what'll do it. You know what I mean? That's so gnarly. That's so cool. Good for them, man. Good for fucking them. That's awesome. The one from the thing, you know? Swamp thing? Like, what? Huh? Wait a minute. Investigation. Hold on. Oh, the big music number in this game. Yeah, that's what I thought you were talking about initially with Alan. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure they will. I've got no doubt. I don't know what the song's called, but yeah, I, I don't doubt that. I, I assume that's what they were going to play. Tours are romantic, huh? Oh. Let me let me put some of these case files where they need to go. Gonna bother me. Still says for later. Rose Marigold left these lunch boxes for me. Alan Wake apparently told her to. I guess I owe her one. You gonna do the hard mode new game plus DLC? Uh the DLC I probably will. I already took care of all this. When it comes out. I don't know about like hard game or hard mode new game plus or anything like that. I like any extra story content. I would go over all this again. I would probably definitely do though. Any extra story content. Is the hard mode? Oh shit. That should be interesting. Tor disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. How do I get inside? Oh, wow. We got a whole shit ton of shit. And it has story content? Okay. Tom had enemies plotting against them. Entry from Cynthia's. Uh, Saga jabbed this selector. Way told Rose to look for the hero. She won't help anyone else. Um. The page says the record will open the overlap. Or is the page predetermining it? Am I just playing into the story? Yes, you are. You are part of the story. A bathtub, a pond, a lake. There's a theme here.
Tor is not becoming a Taken, but Cynthia is definitely corrupting him. Trying to keep him away from me? Yeah, why would she be trying to keep him away? Mommy wave, well, but never got the chance. Okay. Why did mom leave? Oh shit. Hi, dog. Yo, Carl, thank you for 49 months of subs, man. No. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Carl. Appreciate it, man. Why do they want to kill Wake? No. No. Has been in stress. She believes she's been working for him. Um, what is it? Cult psychology. What kind of cult? Carl, how you doing, my guy? Thank you, thank you, thank you. For the sub. How we doing? Not a cult member. I'm glad we got that soft. All right, I think we're good. Tied to hard mode. That's an interesting choice. If that is in fact the case, I bet you they walk back on that. Today's day and age in the gamer world, people are going to be like, I don't want to play hard mode. Like, I'll do it. If it's that, if it's tied to the story content, I'll, I'll totally do it. I kind of hope they don't. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd rather they didn't as well. It suits the story better. I see you. That was just around the corner. Oh, shit. How's the three time daddy doing? I'm doing okay, Carl. I had a splitting headache all day today, but other than that, I've probably been scared more than I've been scared in this whole entire game like three times tonight. It's been interesting. God, these things creep me out. Yes, they're fucking awful. Can you stop listening to the community and listen to their hearts again? All companies, once the companies listen to the communities, we got my guys and shit and crap like that. <laughs> I got to put the toddlers to bed. Yo, good luck, natural. I had a pain in the ass time getting my youngest to go to bed tonight. Good luck and Godspeed, natural. Time to catch the end of the segment. Uh, we got a, at least like a half an hour, if not an hour left. Hope to see you again, natural. If not, have a good rest of your night, buddy. Probably at least an hour, though. The song will show me the way. Look in the mirror, the cobweb of my soul. Oh, my face forever, seeking to be whole. Driven by passion, raging like a storm. With thunder and lightning, and the hubris I was born. The overlap is at the pond. Go again. Oh shit. Let's run into it. No, no, not me, Raven King. I mean, I could even do that if I wanted to because I got to take the girls to uh, school and my wife to work. 23 hour stream one. Geek. Thanks for uh, making me moan. I appreciate it. 
Des 23 hour stream when uh whenever destiny 3 comes out and they put out a raid that'll be the next 23 hour stream they are on winter break no they're not on winter break for another like two three weeks two weeks two and a half something like that the body of missing youth discovered in flooded bunker the local girl nora hesberg age 15 who went missing on saturday of last week was discovered dead in the sealed underground bunker near valhalla nursing home in bright falls the cause of death has been determined to be drowning the incident occurred during a gathering of local youth at the bunker. Nora was first reported missing by her parents Sunday morning when they discovered their daughter had not returned home the night before. The police were contacted and they received a tip to check the bunker from one of the victim's acquaintances. Police are treating the tragedy as an accident. The community mourns the loss of its young member. My horny posing tonight? Oh, always, Kai. Always. Thanks for uh, equally making me just as horny. Have a good one, Kai. Have a good rest of your night, buddy. D3 raid, spicy snipes all day. You know it. 23 hours and 40 minutes. He tried. No, I did not try. That was the whole point. I didn't want to do a 24 hour stream. I didn't want to do a 23 hour and 40 minute stream. I didn't want to even want to do a, a, a 16 hour stream, a 12 hour stream. It just so happened that's how long it took us to do the goddamn raid. Mommy. I blame Arcane mostly, though. Help me, please. This isn't real. Mom. Help me. Oh, this is gonna be fucked up. I, I, I Fuck this place. Yeah, I agree. Or his raid wasn't good enough. It wasn't. I mean be perfectly honest yeah i mean that's why we couldn't get it done quick enough <laughs> i mean that's why it took us so long other teams on our clan they they finished it a lot faster but where the drowned lady the fuck is that am i going in circles yeah Yep, you are. What the fuck is going on? I got goosebumps. I don't know where I'm at. And there was a giant and he stood there and laughed at me, then left me. Yeah, I, I you know, I, you were in capable hands. I'm pretty sure Brosian was walking you through it. You were pretty damn hilarious in that jumping puzzle. It's not my fault. Stay back and help. I mean, yeah, because he was like, yo, if I don't do this, then we're going to be here all night. <laughs> I'm just glad there wasn't friendly fire in those. Love you, Taz. <laughs> The fuck is that? Dude, Flax right with these batteries, man. No power. Can't use the switch. Fuck off. Ding out. I need to get the power on to use the switch. Gone too soon. Oh, man. That's kind of dark. Oh, fucked up.
The wall just disappeared. The light did that? The light. It is our savior. So many bandages. Game saved automatically. Like the others. I need to reach the center. It was too late. Cynthia. She's here. A dead end. Oh, I doubt that. Again. What the fuck? Some more cross bolts. And give me a little room, but nothing in it. Seems odd. like a little grate here okay I for certain this is where I needed to go I thought it was gonna try to trick me again maybe it was just ammo locked the key has to be nearby Maybe I turn the light on now. Maybe this is different. I would imagine the key's got to be close by. Don't have a map of the area. No. Nothing. Hmm. Oh, God. <clears throat> A lot of ammo boxes. Can't open any of them. Yo, Coyote, when are we going to get on that firefight, uh, Halo? Halo firefight. They had a firefight back in the Halo. That shit used to be the best. Turn it off. No light. Oh, I'm going to probably need that. Okay, so it's probably ahead of us. I will chat with you later. I will definitely be catching more. All right, Raven King. Sounds good, man. You take it easy.
we're towards the tail end of it so there uh i don't know how many more alan wake sh two streams there's gonna be but i appreciate you hanging out raven king you have a good rest of your night dude is that a game mode yeah it's like endless uh enemies coming after you wave after wave after wave Ooh, what kind of food you get roxy never got to apologize everyone's got to eat right Did you get something delicious I was got garlic fries. I mean, that sounds pretty goddamn delicious to me. I'd be all about that. Am I, chat? Maybe you guys can answer a question for me. Is it weird to like fish sticks? No. Okay. Fuck, yummy stuff. Fish sticks are what you're eating from a new burger place across from me? What kind? What do you mean what kind? Fish sticks. Frozen fish sticks. I don't know. I don't like fish. See, if you don't like fish, that's one thing. I can understand not liking fish sticks. I guess my wife doesn't like fish either, so I guess it makes sense that she doesn't like fish sticks. From a new burger place i love a burger place it doesn't matter what kind of burger place there burger places i've it's so hard to fuck up a burger i feel like that like every burger place is at least decent if you don't like fish that makes sense i think mrs Merck is not like really annoyed but like slightly annoyed that like i got fish sticks one time because i hadn't had them since i was a kid and now like the girls just like constantly ask for fish sticks Uh, girl, there's cod, tilapia, bread, and fried. Frozen fish sticks. I don't know. They probably fill it with the cheapest fucking fish they can find. Usually haddock. I like haddock. I do like haddock. I like cod too. Cod's actually my favorite fish. Only good fish is fish and chips. The rest are gross. Tamoyan, like, what do you eat on a daily basis? Like, do you actually enjoy like food? What was false, Taz? I used to love fish and chips. I grew up and decided if it smells like fish, I don't touch it. Well, see, that's where I, Roxy. I get it. You you don't like fish. I mean, if you don't like fish, understandable. There's a lot of people out there that don't like fish. There's a lot of people out there that don't like seafood in general. I love fresh if it's cooked right. Oh, okay. Oh, fair enough. So if it smells like fish, you're just like out. Grouper is the only way. Fried grouper is really good. I mean, grouper is a good, really good fish, just in general. That every place is, I didn't say good. I said at least okay. At least decent is, I think, the exact words I used. It's okay for them, but me? You don't like eggs. You don't, I feel like every time we talk about food, you're always saying, like, this is gross. Smoked mullet is bomb, too. It is. That is very delicious. Like, that dip, mullet dip. Oh, my God. For steelhead trout, wife absolutely loves it. Yo, they sell uh, steelhead trout all the time at our Sam's Club. They always have that out there. I always think about trying it. I haven't. I haven't had uh, steelhead trout yet. I love crab though and salmon. You know, it's funny, and I feel like this is an unpopular opinion, but salmon is like my least favorite fish. I really, really, really do not like salmon. I feel like. I feel like it's fishier than every other fish. I don't know what it is about salmon. Talk about good food. What is what is your favorite food, Tremolian? Like if you were on death row, right? You're about to get the the switch flipped on you tomorrow. What is your last meal? I get the steelhead from Publix. I bet. You 
bet you that Publix fish is really good. I bet you that Publix fish. I bet you that Publix has got that good, good fish. But literally, I never eat fish unless it's made to not taste like fish. I get it. It's cool. I hate fish. Damn that bitch, dude. <laughs> right? That's a question because I wouldn't know. Yeah, because you hate food. Prime rib? Okay. Jerk chicken? Oh, I fucks with some jerk chicken. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. Prime rib's kind of like meh. Prime rib's like eh. I got to drown that shit in like some like a jus sauce and stuff. It's always so fatty. You know, I don't know. I'm, I'm not. A, I'm, my dad used to make it every year for, thing, or for Christmas and everyone... Used to like praise it and love it and talk about it and like used to make it with like a Marcella sauce and I was just like eh. And I had good prime rib. I mean, everyone used to rave about my dad's prime rib. Everybody like, dude, everyone would come over for Christmas for prime rib. I don't know. I wasn't into it. I'm telling you, like everyone loved it. I understand because people have different tastes. I don't food shame. You do, though. You food shame me all the time. I died tomorrow. I'd have to request some homemade lasagna if it's literally. Oh, homemade lasagna is so good. Chili, garlic bread with cheese. I like ch I like chili. I've had chili so much in my life, though. I don't. It wouldn't be like one of my top choices. Garlic bread with cheese. I used to love garlic bread with cheese. Last time I had it, I was like, kind of was like regretting that I was eating it. I was like, eh, this is okay. Not worth it. <laughs> Little horseradish sauce, so it's yummy. I don't know. I've just never been in a prime rib. I've had it at restaurants. I've had it at my dad's. I've had it at weddings. It's your last meal, you would never have it again. Let's see. If I was having a last meal, I'm going to be honest with you guys. And this is going to sound crazy just because we were just talking about it, but I, I, it's honest to God truth. If it could be anything, even stuff that doesn't exist anymore, I would have this fried fish I would I, that I used to get at this uh, place that does not exist anymore. Called, uh, I can't talk. Called George Aikens. It was like a family chain restaurant in Pittsburgh. There was three of them in Pittsburgh. They all shut down. I would want that fried fish. Luckily, there's a grocery chain in Pittsburgh that does a very similar fried fish only on Fridays. This is the only place that I've found that makes fried fish even remotely close to this place called George Aikens that used to have it. It is fish that I grew up with, and I... My mouth is salivating right now, just the thought of it. That's why I can't even talk right now. Other than that, it would either be chicken parm, some kind of fried chicken, chicken parm or some kind of fried chicken, maybe a buffalo chicken tender sub from Publix. Think of what else. Like a steak sandwich with like a jus sauce. Just dunk that whole fucking thing in. I'm so hungry right now. I'm so hungry right now. A burrito, like a good one. I had a friend that isn't with us anymore. She made the best lasagna. Oh my God, I heard from doing planks. Hell yeah, Roxy, get after it, man. Planks are hard. Get after it. I love it. Sore from doing planks. I'm sore from being someone's human test dummy yesterday. 
they're about to enter worlds on thursday and they were trying to practice takedowns and i told them i would pro that i would work with them on takedowns so i was just getting slammed to the mat over and over and over again been doing dolphin planks i don't to be honest oh is that like the ones where you're on your knees yo those are still i go to i go down to those when like the normal planks they're just like my whole body's convulsing and i can't hold it anymore i'll go down to like the dolphin ones i'm assuming that's the ones on like the knees they're a little easier but they're still tough if you got like proper form you'll still like be busting your ass and handle normal pranks planks yeah my my wrists my wrists can be a little iffy sometimes I know that can stop time. <laughs> yes. A minute. A minute of planks. Like 60 seconds of planking is like legit like 10 minutes of hell. You're not wrong, Tremorian. It's kind of fucking wild. Oh, we're back at the beginning. Back again. Gotta go deeper. <laughs> Giggity. Nothing. Also nothing. It's a cheap ass room, bro. Ain't got no loot. Put forearms down on the floor and fly my back legs out behind me. Forearms down, flatten my back, legs out behind me. Yeah, like nor normal plank, right? Or no? Unless I'm misunderstanding, which totally a possibility. Oh, my muscles hurt so bad. Oh yeah. What I like to do too is like when you're in the planking position to work out your like obliques and your side areas, you kind of sway your hips. You get like the left side of your hip to touch the ground. You got to make sure it's very like controlled and steady movement though. But it like really, really helps like your obliques. In your sides and your love handles. Plank modified. Gotcha. Tor. Huh. Where are you? Can you hear me? It's so dark. Oh, I'm sorry, kiddo. The hag tricked me. Tor, I'm here. I'm coming. Push the big button. Nothing. I need dark water. You took Tor. I'm here to take him back. I can't stay in the water. I need to get the lights on to reach him. Zarya. So damn dark down here. I'm underwater. She's trapped me at the water. Pushed her down. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Okay. She's coming. All right. We gotta stay. The shadows to come alive. Shit. Fuck off. I just started last week. You'll get there though. I gotta get out of the water. Ooh. I got scared. She's under the water. My heart is raising really bad watching you play. Ah! Neo Matter coming in with the raid of 34. Welcome on in, everybody. Welcome on in. My name is Merc Variety Streamer. 
and you caught us playing Alan Wake 2. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for the raid, Neo. Everyone in my channel, if you're, if you're not following it, Neo, make sure you go follow him. Back to back raids. Holy shit balls. And we just got a raid from Rome of 33. Wait, was that a. Holy hell. Rome, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome on in, everybody. My name is Merc. We just got raided by Neo as well. Back to back raids. Welcome in, everybody. My name is Merc, variety streamer. And as I said, thank you for the two random follows, random people, Torres and Zero. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome on in, everybody. <laughs> wow. What the hell? Delta 2 as well. Zero Delta. Uh, he Ferdy. <laughs> Frady, Abby. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Everybody in my channel, make sure you are following Rome and Neo Matter, two of my favorite people on Twitch, and I'm not lying about that. They're also incredibly good looking. Okay. I hope everyone is doing fantastical on this Tuesday night. We are currently playing Alan Wake 2. I've only shat myself twice tonight, uh, which is you know more than I've shat myself any other night playing this game for some reason tonight. I hope we're doing well, though. Nah, Rome is bad looking. I mean, it's, you know, I, I, I would give him an 8 out of 10. Personality-wise, 10 out of 10. Look wise, eight out of ten. You know what I mean? Ryan Gosling's a good nine, so or Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Gosling, I'd give it an eight. Ryan Reynolds is a ten. Yes, Neo, I, I would love to hear your thoughts about Zelia so far. I love that game. You'll work OT till you cry. <laughs> but I hope everyone's doing well. Uh we're getting totally mind fucked by Alan Wake 2 lately. Yo, Reptar. Thank you for the follow. We have scare alerts, scare redemptions on right now because we're playing a scary game. Are you ready for bed? Have a great night, but I need to be ready for tomorrow. Roxy, you have yourself a great rest of your night. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. I truly do appreciate it, Roxy. And good luck with the planking. All right. Good luck with the, the working out, getting uh, into the shapes. You know what I mean, Roxy? Let your, uh, let your tummy recover. Getting carried by the character so far, but still early on. I'm sure the story will pick up. The story does pick up. It takes a little while, but the story will pick up. I don't know what really enticed me to that game. I, I love that one, though, and I did not play many Tales games. But, Neo, I hope you and the fam are doing well. Same to you, Rome. Same to everybody in here. Roxy, take it easy. Take it easy. Likewise, brother. Uh, we've had our ups and downs. We've had Emma having some issues with her preschool. Kenzie's rock solid. Kenzie's just, you know, causing trouble by tattletaling on her sister and making her do bad shit, but... There must be a way to get the power back on. Having a lot of issues with Emma lately. Emma's being a little naughty, naughty girl. She's coming. But she's so adorable, so it doesn't even matter half the time. Any issues in preschool, too? Stinks. Yeah. Emma's been like crying and clinging to me every time I drop her off. Young blood. I love that you call him long young blood. On this game would suck. Streamer cards. What are streamer cards? Streamer cards? I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do here, chat, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. I gotta stay out of the water. I gotta turn the power. Oh, streamer loot. Uh, for a kid that I've ever heard. Right, Taz? I know. Same here. I love that he calls him that. If you want to let me know. I, I'm uh, somewhat familiar with it. I remember looking into it at one point. Did I find it? I'm looking for a way to turn the power back on. I thought since there was a red light here, this would be it. <sighs> Rome, what were you playing tonight? Were you playing Remnant 2? If you said it earlier, I apologize. Oh, who did it? I'm being attacked by... Oh. Ah, get away from me! 
whoever that was with the follow thank you very much we have anonymous follows on because people like to spoil games jerk faces all right is doing the new d4 content shit is freaking hard oh that came out i'm still a plebe and uh i'm playing hardcore and i'm still leveling my character once again after dying like three or four times abby i hope you're having a great night appreciate you coming on in with rome you have to turn it roxanne you don't have to turn on the red light I've decided to give Baldur's Gate a good luck later on. A good, yeah, I mean, Baldur's Gate three. Baldur's Gate three is very interesting, Neo. What's up, pumpkin? Baldur's Gate three, Neo. I you'll really like it. I think you'll like it. Have you ever played like a strategy kind of tactile based game before? Because it's very similar or Dragon Age. Dragon Age would be a good example as well. Shit's about to get real. Get the fuck away from me. Get on the fucking thing. Don't like this. New D4 content. Yeah, I've been playing hardcore this season and it's been getting the better of me. I'm not going to lie. Those game goddamn seekers fuck me up, man. All right, let's push this big giant red button. We're probably going to have a boss fight. But no, Baldur's Gate 3, it, the one thing interesting about Baldur's Gate 3 is like there are so many different ways and things you can do in that game and the game just kind of like carries on and just goes with it and it's kind of wild like i didn't mean to do an evil playthrough and we're all been joking around about it like the people i've been playing with i didn't mean to do an evil playthrough but everyone is just so evil in that universe that like i am doing an evil playthrough because everyone keeps fucking being mean to me and i'm being mean back and people are getting murdered so i you know i don't know i've been calling myself a hero of justice of the boulders gate universe because everyone's an asshole in there and like they're trying to fight me and kill me so yeah what's up navasa more like final fantasy tactics more active base yeah well um not like dragon age at all more like final fantasy tactics more active base I mean, kind of. I don't know. The very. It, I think it's more like the first Dragon Age more than anything, to be honest. Mm, IRL was something about that in the video game saying kind of scary and super weird. I know. No, I mean, I get it. I get it. Uh, just working on side projects. How's Murray doing? I'm doing well, Navasa. I've had a headache all day today, but other than that, I'm doing all right. It's cold. Dark. I had to reach Cynthia. Goddamn thing. <sighs> Tell Odin. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. Nah. You can apologize to him yourself. Damn right. I'm getting you the hell out of here. You're getting out. He better not die. I'll be so pissed if he dies. I hope the side projects are going well, Navasa. No, I can't complain. Christmas time's coming up. I got a surprise lined up for the family. The girls don't know. Not even the wife does, chat. Uh, this might sound like small and insignificant, but I'm going to surprise them. Uh, so I'm going to take the girls to school. I'm going to take the wife to work, right? I'm going to leave work early. Ah! <laughs> Torn coming in with the raid all the love tonight welcome on in torn and crew welcome 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 everybody my name is merc i'm a variety streamer and you caught us playing some alan wake too gotten so much love tonight everybody in my channel make sure you follow torn another good friend we've got a lot of good friends on twitch tonight apparently 
Make sure you go give him a follow. Show him some love. What were you up to tonight, Torn? Oh, uh, you're playing Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima. Love that game. It's playing such a beautiful game. It really is a gorgeous game. They don't. Very few games are that very or that pretty. They're few and far between. Absolutely. Uh, for those of you that don't know what Alan Wake is, it's a very scary game where we're about to fight a boss. So give me a moment. I'm just gonna shoot this little old lady and blood it. Oh God. Fuck off. Time was running out. Uh oh, uh oh. Get away from it. Get away from it. Get away from it. Why is she all panicking? Get away from it. from the dark place when you were still trapped i have the clicker we can finish this there's not the clicker you can help we must find it i already have it i can get it to you but i have to understand did you write logan into the story Last in danger <laughs> I need to get back. I'm writing a story. It's the only way. Then change the story. If this is the past. Logan's her daughter. If this is you still in the dark place, then you can do that, right? You cannot write her in. She's my daughter. I'll catch up with chat in a minute. Logan is in the story. I can get him to change it. I have the clicker. I'll make him change it now. He had no right to do this to Logan. To my family. Anyone wants me to explain any of this, please ask questions. Tor. Oh, Grandpa Pa. Oh, fucking hell. Are you okay? Uh, hey, it took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? <laughs> nice attitude. A family trait? Uh... Uh, you're right. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Like look at me. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie pie. <laughs> and I got answers. He's a lot less friendlier than his other brother. Or his brother, not his other brother. Totally robbed at Game Awards. What beat it out? I can't remember. What beat it out, Torn? I'm glad you're enjoying it. It was a really fun game. I really, really loved playing it. Leviathan, this game's going great. It's a total mind fuck. The story's so good. The narrative's so good. The Last of Us 2. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, ah, uh, yeah. That's that's a tough choice. That's a tough choice. Yeah, what's up, Grumpy Tiger? How we doing, Tiger? How's your Tuesday night? 
It's a big game. I mean, I enjoyed Last of Us too. I thought it was good. The fact his heart rate isn't at blows my mind. I'm scared I'm not even playing it. <laughs> I've gotten slightly used to these. I, I, listen, two, two, three years ago, I would probably be in the exact same boat, Neo. I feel like I've gotten a, gotten a little bit more thicker skin with these scary games. They're talking about a last of us three. Oh yeah. I mean, they make so much money off that series. Yeah. They're going to, they're going to squeeze every penny they can out of it. Or just sticking with one swapping. I've been swapping tiger. Um, Basically, every time I finish one of these, every time this screen comes up, I switch to the other character. So if you're familiar with the game, I can tell you where I'm at with Alan, since you just saw where I'm at with Saga. I'm not going to say it unless, like, you know, you're only at a certain point. Hmm. But we've done a, a d decent amount of Alan. I don't know how much, because I haven't beaten the game. I've beaten it. Great experience. Uh, so with Alan, I just finished the hotel. We saw Zane. We finished the hotel. And the next part is he wants to go back to his apartment. Out of 10, Tiger, what would you give this game? I'm genuinely curious. We need to talk. <sighs> Damn right. Lots for me to explain. But not here. The knight's got ears. Oh, shit. We can have our talk in your head. You have a room there, right? How do you know about that? What the fuck? I'm your grandfather. <laughs> what don't I know? He's got one, too. It's a family trait. The mind place. Case board. So this is actually a very cool and interesting uh, mechanic of this game is they have this like detective board. She's an FBI agent and um, I don't know. It, it's just like really interesting. It kind of like, like if you forget something, you can kind of come back to here and like go through the case board and be like, oh, that's right. This was part of this. And I don't know. It makes you feel a lot more like a detective. It's an interesting mechanic. Certain things don't unlock until you like piece things together on the case board. It's a great story and artistic, but some of the gameplay isn't as strong. I would say, yeah. I mean, and that that that's exactly what I would say about the first one as well, Tiger. I feel like Alan Wake is a very narrative-driven game, very story-driven game. And the gameplay has always been kind of like, it's not bad, but it's just like not as good as others. Tori's here in the overlap. Got to find him and get the fuck out. I already did that. Area around an overlap is always flooded. Okay. I entered the dark place by playing Tor Noden song. Overlaps require pieces of art to enter. Oh. Is that because of the dark places focus on art? That would make sense, Saga. I will say I did like the gameplay in this one a lot. Yes, 110%. I've been telling everybody this one's light years ahead of the first one. This felt more survival horror and the other one felt like more action run and gun with unlimited ammo practically. Yes. Yes, this one just in general, not even just gameplay. I just feel like just in general, this one's much, 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 much better than the first one. Out of the first one, actually. Mm -hmm. It's 13 years ahead of the first one, actually. I don't. Uh, what does that mean to Molly? You know about my mind place. How is that possible? We all have the power. Oh shit! Find the truth. Damn right I do. Odin already told you you're a seer. 
You can gaze into their heads, see the truth. See past the lies. Past this bullshit horror story. Us Andersons are bound by it. Bullshit horror story. You can fight it. Don't be the story. Make the story. It's true. I am a seer. So we are in a story. I have a power. My mind place is more than I thought it was. This isn't my intuition. I'm seeing their thoughts. Is this why I know the truth about Logan? While everyone else forgot? You said you were my grandfather. If that's true, why wasn't I told about you? You were part of our fucked up family way before this horror story. I was a shitty fucking dad to Freya. Your mom didn't deserve that. Not one bit. Things were said and done. Not a day goes by I haven't regretted it. But that fucking father of yours didn't make things any easier. I know Freya is gone. So I need to apologize to you. I am sorry, Saga. Mm. I can see he's sorry. Look at those nose hairs. Do you see those Mom, nose hairs? She didn't want anything to do with my grandfather. Gnarly. And that my father died before I could remember. It all matches. Tor and Odin are part of my family. Just saying it came out there after this OG is all. That is a really long time. It, it, it actually... After playing the first one and then playing this one, it's actually kind of shocking that they're so far apart. It's fighting Duriel, my bad. Did you get anything good? You said you were a shitty father to my mom. Is that why she left? Freya never looked back. My girl was strong. Freya always thought our powers had a dangerous side. Odin and me did fuck with things that should not have been fucked with. <laughs> Your mom had common sense. She raised you right. Kept you safe. I'm not surprised she didn't tell you about the Anderson power. She was always protecting me. Whenever I told my mom about my mind place, she called it make-believe. Hmm. I wish she'd been more honest with me. At least towards the end. Hmm. Mom wouldn't talk about my father. You knew him? Who is Some doors are better left closed. Oh no. Your dad was a complicated bastard. Always thinking too many steps ahead. That's not how we work. There was trouble, and then he was gone. I didn't handle it well. Freya didn't want anything to do with me after that. I can't blame her. I never knew my dad or my mom's family. So many broken relationships in my past. Who's her dad? I won't lose mine. With Logan. With David. Is her dad Alan? I won't stop until they're safe. I have the clicker. Can I use it to save my daughter? An amp. Get your guitar roaring and your drums crashing. Blow reality's eardrums. Just the light switch isn't enough. It's Tom's story we're dealing with, so he's got to be the one to rewrite it. After that's done, he can flick that switch to bring the whole thing home, baby. I can't use the clicker without Wake. Tom. Meaning Wake. No. He needs to rewrite the story first. No. I can't stop the horror story without him. It is Tom's story. I fucking knew it, man. Thomas Zane has been at the beginning. I, it's got to be Thomas. Thomas Zane has got to be at the beginning of all of this. I get goosebumps every tidbit of information that drops. 
Thanks for telling me this, Tor. I need to go find Wake. To stop this. The old gods of Asgar will be ready to help. Me and my bro will bring the rock when you need it. Remember, your daughter is alive. Just kept from you by this bullshit horror story. I needed to hear that. Odin and Thanks, Tor Grandpa. are the fucking best. Is her father Kratos? Very Don't well could be. Worry about me, kiddo. Very well could be, Carl. I'll drag my sorry ass over to Odin. A few shots of the Anderson's finest will fix us both up. <laughs> See you soon, Saga. Just partying like animals, dude. The FBC is holding Wake at the sheriff's station. I need to make Agent Estevez understand. They have Wake and I have the clicker. We have to work together to stop this. They are the best. All right, so we got all Bright Fall Station. Get the clicker to Wake and make him fix his attempt to play God. That's the plan. But the FBC have him. I'm telling you, man, I don't, I don't think this is it. I think Thomas Zane still has a lot to do with what's going on. Tor and my father had problems. There was trouble. Freya took me away after that. Let me see. No? Life and water? No? Why did mom leave? Oh. Mom thought Tor's power was dangerous, didn't want me around it. The way Tor behaved? I'm surprised my mom hung around for as long as she did. Family is But he is genuinely sorry. Or later. Anderson Brothers. Wake wrote Logan into the story. But why? He had no right to use her like this. Yeah, why would he do that? There is still time to make him fix it. I won't give him a choice. Is real or if Thomas is something that Alan created as part of, or if it's a bit of both. Th well, that's the thing. Like, you're right. You're right. So I just played the first one before this, Tiger. And so, for some reason, you're right. I never really thought, like, Alan wrote Thomas in. But, like, since we've been playing this, I've been starting to think that Thomas might have wrote Alan in. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't know. I never really thought the whole Thomas was fake or f Thomas was a part of Alan's creation. But I, since I've been playing this, I've just been like, you know, we met Thomas earlier. He's a filmmaker and he's like, oh, we wrote this story together. And like, it's just made me think like, okay, has Thomas has been at the, the wheel of this fucking shit show from the very beginning? Maybe the friends we made along the way wrote the story. Oh, that's definitely the case, Torn. It's wrote my story time and a half. But I wrote you, Mark. Can you like write me like, you know, with like a nicer car or like a bigger home room? Can I get like an extra bedroom? Maybe an extra bath too? Is there is there a chance on that room? <laughs> Can you write that in? Could it be on the excerpts or something like that? Little the little extra tidbits. Overlap. Okay, so there's a way to can I go over that way now? Oh, I have the bolt cutters now. Oh my god, I can go to all the I can go to a bunch of different places. I got the bolt cutters now. You guys see the lights flashing here? There's like a bunch of extra rooms now. This place still not have any light. Oh, it does have light. Loot time. 
right? With the bolt cutters. I don't think I missed anything in here. It does bother me. I don't have the a map in here. I don't know if I missed that at one point. I don't think there was any... I don't remember any bolt cutters needed in here, though. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. That was the way over there. Oh, we can go out this way now. There's my car. Oh, you know what Flack told me to do? He told me to go talk to Adi at the end of this chapter. Let's go back and talk to Adi. Dude, the fact that Adi's in this game is just a mind blow in itself. There is a map for the clinic session. Yeah, I don't know where it's at. I never got it. I never found it. I probably definitely should have. That's nice. Floating plate. It's pretty cool. Oh, okay. It's gone now. Floating piece of paper. F folder. Pretty sweet. All th oh, all the old people are back. Hello. <gasps> her, oh, her hands are back to normal. Good. Your hair is looking nice today, Mandy May. Oh, oh hush. He's trying to get it. This is how it looks every day. He's trying to get it. Well, it looks nice every day. Oh, damn right. That was a good line. Get after it, man. Oh, this guy wanted to do an interview. All right, let's go talk to Adi. Or is my dude uh, Odin up? No, still down for the count. That's sad. Adi. Uh, Auntie is not here. Oh, I gotta go on a mission to find Auntie, huh? Flax said he had some. Yes, please, Tiger. I would love that. Black told me to find Auntie because he had some interesting things to say at the end of this chapter. So we got to go on a hunt for Ati. But yes, Tiger, I would like to know where the clinic map is. It doesn't say where he's at. Maybe he's in the basement. It's on the, on the main lobby. I knew it was in one of those beginning areas. I was just a fool and didn't see it. Might have been done when things were done out of order. Oh, that would fucking suck, dude. It was in his room when he's on his bed. Oh, what? No, that sucks. That's shitty. So he's like gone now. I don't see him anywhere. That really does suck. Not happy about it. I was really looking forward to that. I bet you I can find it online. I would assume I could. Hmm. Oh, well. Still that area to look. Oh, hello. Cynthia's lamp. When Cynthia Weaver was downstairs at breakfast, Rose snuck into her room. With all the lamps in the room, it took her a while to find the one with an angel. Luckily, the dream Alan had sent her had been very clear. 
Rose was certain that Cynthia would not miss one lamp. She had so many. Tonight, Rose would put the lamp in a shoebox and let it sink into the garden pond. That's what Alan wanted. That's how she could help him. The thought made her whole body buzz with joy. Cynthia knew the lamp was missing the very moment she came back to her room. She was overcome by grief. It had been Tom's lamp, one of the few things that reminded her of him. It had not worked in a long time with the cord severed and the light switch gone. But there are other kinds of lights than the ones we can see. The invisible light of the angel lamp had held Cynthia together all these years. With tears welling in her eyes, she didn't see the shadows shifting in the corners of her room. Wow. Fucking Rose. Rose did it. Rose is obviously working for Scratch. Scratch is still involved in all this. Somehow it feels like. So curious. There's like a big question mark on all of this. About his character and place in Bright Falls? No shit, man. He's like the most interesting character there is. So fascinating. I'm trying to find Ati. I'm trying to see if he's maybe around here. Why is it so goddamn dark in here? Ati, are you in here? I'm on a hunt for Adi. I don't even know if he's here or not, but he's probably disappeared. Oh, well. Gets used by Thomas in the first game and gets eaten by the darkness at the end. I know, right? I do too. Especially because she helped us so much in the first one. It is kind of sad. It is. Bolt cutters. Let's find this clinic map just for shits and giggles. Oh, wait. Ew, it went backwards. What? On a board. Where was it? Go through the clinic through the first one. It's on a cork board in the main lobby. Like in here? See it in here. Knowing my luck, it's probably like glitched out. I don't see shit. It should be the main lobby, right? I ain't got nothing, bro. I ain't got nothing unless it's in this room. No. Oh, is that it, Flack? Maybe in a little section between the doors and the lobby, it's there. Right oh, boom. Thank you, tiger. Will that spoil anything else for me? Am I good to like watch that on stream? Trauma pad. And flare. I don't need any of that shit. All right. So I think I got everything. A while to find. It looks like it's kind of a rare occurrence. A lot of things need to line up at the right time to trigger. It's safe. Okay. Uh, we're going to watch this thing that Flack found us a link for. Uh, supposedly, it's just like one minute scene. This is like a scene of Adi saying some stuff in this chapter that we just played. Uh, you can find Adi in his room in the nursing home. And apparently, if you catch him in the right scenario, he'll say some things. So I'm going to open this up and uh see what we got here hold on a second
I don't speak this language, bro. Where am I? Am I all a man on Koti? This is not my home. No, I've been a whole one. I want to go home now. What is this place? Hey, Satana. Hey, Satana. How did I get here? I'm lost. Lost at the sea. No, no lighthouse anywhere. And the storm is coming. We are out. Interesting. I missed this one. Yeah, see? Yeah, it's like a very particular... Interesting. So he didn't have a choice in the matter. He's not there by choice. Again, goosebumps. I got straight goosebumps. Interesting. Interesting. It's not there by choice. When he visits for his vacations or something. Well, they said something earlier. I read it in the thing, I think, because this place he talked about, because this is the place he talked about in control. Okay, well, let's go backwards a little further. I've just read a piece of paper or something. She, uh, the, the lady we just fought, I'm drawing a blank on names right now. She said that Thomas wanted to open up a hotel. You know what hotel it is, Ocean View Hotel. It's like, okay, it, so that just leads to me thinking, okay, did Thomas Zane start all of this? Did he, like, I, it just... I don't know. I it just it's so it's such a mind fuck and I'm like going in circles trying to keep up with it. And I feel like there's so many details I'm like missing or not interpreting right or it's just so out there. We'll talk about Tom after you do the next Alan <laughs> chapter. God damn it. That'll be Thursday night. I'll be doing that chapter on Thursday night. Oh, man. Jim Figamore. Shit. Yo, what's up, Outlaw? Yo, what the fuck happened to the Steelers, dude? This game is freaking weird. Dude, Super Geek, you don't gotta tell me, man. A lot of theories about Tom from one. Now, Flack was one of them because um, Tiger was mentioning that there was a theory that Alan Wake r wrote Tom into existence. Were you ever like leaning towards that theory? Because I never really like thought that for some reason. All right, 
I'm kind of over that. What's this manifest page? Every night was bingo night at the Valhalla nursing home. Each time Rose drew a ball from the cage and called out its number, some of the residents shouted bingo, no matter what was on their cards. Some of them sat mute, their cards full, never calling out. Some of them would try to steal the ball from her. <laughs> some of them would chastise the others for acting out. It was like herding a clouder of cats. Rose didn't mind. She liked cats. <laughs> she knew she was where she was supposed to be with her little Vikings waiting for the hero to come. Tonight, the residents were restless, more so than usual. Ati was wearing Blum's coveralls again. Tor stood by the phone. Too late. Rose saw the hammer in his hand. The garden lights started to flicker, the darkness and rain pressing against the windows. The time drew nigh. Hmm. I don't know. Rose is helping Mr. Scratch. And how does Mr. Scratch play into all this? If Thomas Zane is the big baddie, then how the fuck does Scratch get involved? cult box um bolt cutters <laughs> key's got to be nearby there's an arrow pointing that way oh okay just led me into a big circle it's leading me into a big giant circle that's not that's not cool I don't like that why is it leading me into a big giant circle There's a sign that's telling me to go, oh, wait a minute. Hey, found it. Give me a second, Flack. Let me just open this stash. I thought and still do think that Alan used Tom's story to fuel his own escape story and changed a lot of details about Tom. I think, however, this was that this was Tom's plan. Then Alan decided to change the story to a more modern one, which is why some of the rewritten characters think Alan is Tom. They have remnants of the Tom story in their head. I think that maybe Tom is also doing the same to Alan, fighting back by rewriting. Maybe he even created the scratch concept. God damn dude i just got goosebumps reading that and the fact that you've beaten the game and you're saying all this as theory makes me think that we don't know shit at the end of all this <laughs> what is, is that just a flare you can't hide from the trees we are everywhere I really do not need like all of this stuff. Just discard it. I'm leaving on some spoilery theories, but yeah, lots of questions still. I mean, and like, I'm not saying you're spoiling it at all for me because I don't think that at all. Because like, Kai, Kai has already said something to that effect earlier. Like, at the end, there's just. We still don't know everything. And to be perfectly honest, the way this game's playing out, it just seems like that's how it's going to end. 
it's going to end either on a cliffhanger or just with like an ending where it's just going to leave a lot unanswered. I'm getting those vibes very heavily. It's a pretty beach. I'm getting excited that um, I'm towards the tail end of it. If I can, I might play Saturday. And you're going to do very marvel with this remedy. I would be surprised if control doesn't continue and build. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's. <clears throat> Listen, from playing Max Payne and like you know from w playing the first alan the first alan wank and uh it just feels hold on a second give me a second ah god damn it i searched the it just feels like this is what they had planned even back from like max Payne days like I, it, like it literally just feels like they've always meant to connect their games for control 2 i i might go back and finish the tiger i've played control but i never actually finished it Explain how Max Payne can do bullet times. <laughs> Those were the pills, Torn. Those were the pills he was taking. You didn't get that? Did say, however, that he wants all the info to keep their identity, and we can expect him to once again be more sci fi action movie in tone. I never played a Max Payne. Oh, what? Dude, such classics. Lots of them. Lots of painkillers. Lots and lots of pills. Down in those things like M&Ms. You didn't get near the end of control? No, I probably missed it. So, like, what I did, Tiger, is I kind of read up on it. I read about the, the DLC that is very highly um, related to Alan Wake. I'll play it then. I'll definitely be playing that torn for sure. The 81st annual Deer Fest was just around the corner. Everyone in Bright Falls was bustling. There were banners to be hung, pies baked, deer masks sold. Bright Falls had made the top 100 American small town lists for its modest rustic charm. Nice. The town expected a lot of tourists this year. But a shadow hung over the deer fest preparations. The forecast promised rain. Fearful whispers promised more murders. The police were on high alert. Sheriff Breaker had deputies patrolling the streets at night. Bright Falls was no stranger to odd happenings. But to cancel deer fest? Out of the question. Out of the question. The townsfolk were anxious. Their anticipation mixed with fear. People had restless dreams. The lights seemed dimmer. Flood water pressed in on the town, and the shadows poured in with it. Shit. Then anything really important? Well, yeah, and that that's what I'm alluding to, though, is like the significance to Alan Wake more so than control. But I do feel like I miss some things. The one that dives into the origins of the house. Yeah, maybe I gotta continue it. I'd probably play it off stream. Oh, it's so tempting to switch realities right now. I want to finish exploring this place. I might go to the other place too and unleash the bolt cutters. I have to get these stashes. Oh, these are. I was pretty disappointed in the actual ending. Oh, 
Got arrows. Oh, fucking hell. Ah, uh, that was a big old miss. Pointing down, arrow pointing that way. Another dog. Oh shit! Little bastard. Another locked box. There's another cult stash. Shot it in its ass. Popping off. It says uh, brightness. I don't know what that means. It's a light bulb. I think it was pointing up there. Maybe. It's weird because you got one right there. You got one pointing down here. Arrow over there. It's just a light bulb. Oh, it's symbols. Okay, facing away from each other. Hmm. It's one pointing down, but I don't see shit. So that one's obviously that. Okay. B and I use non-lethal on drama, so I think I can recruit her in Moonrise without being an evil asshole. Listen, I had sex with that lady, and then she tried to kill me, so I killed her. But it was all worth it, Flack. Uh, going full blown evil, which I'm glad. Tang Man has been way less scary than I expected. <laughs> I'm 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 going through a, a good playthrough though. I'm a good guy. Exclamation! Okay, triangles upside down. Dun, 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 dun. That's the second person that tried to kill me in my sleep, and then I ended up killing them though. Second person. That one. I might just try to brute force this if I'm being honest. I don't feel like looking for this third one. Asterion. Asterion got it too. He sucked my blood while I was sleeping. Told me about it. So then I lowered his defenses. Told him like, go, go ahead. You can suck my blood. And then he did it again and I stabbed him. Put a stake right through him. Crazy ass vampires. Well, maybe I don't have it right. This is gonna piss me off. It's got a light bulb on the top. Rogue but dirge run with a full party of wither recruits, no story characters, it'll be my own little gang. There you go. The light bulb's gotta mean something. But what does it mean? 
There's multiple arrows. I don't understand why there's multiple arrows. Hmm. I don't know. Might just come back to it. I know, Flack. I know. It's late. I'm tired. <laughs> it's probably so obvious. More bad guys. Motherfuck. Oh, shit. Not good. Can't see. Oh, that was a bad shot. Damn. I pressed it right at the last fucking second. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Pressed it right at the last second. <laughs> uh, all right you got stuck on yeah burn the forest down i don't even know if i w another cult stash ranger station All right. Burn the forest down. Only you can prevent forest fires. Hope you had a good stream tonight. Torn. Oh, uh, these damn wolves. Eat rifle. This is a lot of fun. It is a really fun game. It is a really fun game. Is that a one or? I'm going to milk the fuck out of ghosts. Oh yeah, definitely do that. Feels like that should be it. That should be it. I just don't know which one's the first one. Bloodborne's the next. It'll be interesting to see you play Blood Bloodborne Thorn. And maybe a little more linear. The open world segments at the end start to drain on me up by this point, but I always get shit when I say a game should have less content, it would have been better. Ah, you know, Flack, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> another locked box. There's I, another cult stash. I, you're going to not get any argument from me. I completely agree. I completely agree, especially because they're just like with these like puzzles, it, like the things you have to do, they shouldn't take a long time, but these puzzles are such like, what the fuck that it takes like a very small area, a much longer time. Cause like this, I'm just like terribly confused. Like, we got an arrow here. It's pointing directly to that. Right? We're kind of sloggy. I really well kind of saw that in focus. Yeah. 
And then that one's pointing to that one. Am I on the right track here? And then there's that. But that has an arrow pointing away from it. And it's pointing like upwards. So on this side? Like this doesn't make sense to me. Maybe... No. Let's try a different combination of these. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and my inventory is full. Of course it is. All right, let's go back. What? What? Where'd you fucks come from? full this is why mo was the only spider-man game i really liked from the recent ones it was just so focused and tight they tease you with extra slots from the very beginning yeah i haven't had a chance to play miles morales i heard it was good i mean all the spider-man games are good I just like hmm. rocket flare single shot flare inflicts heavy damage oh hello I haven't had one of those yet I just feel personally like I'm just kind of tired of spider-man I, I I've been playing spider-man since I was a kid and I don't know feel like I, I feel like i take flack for taking this saying this but you know i was saying it before i even heard torn's uh uh i, I dude i'm so tired <laughs> torn's uh perspective on the new spider-man because he was saying it's amazing and like to me it's like ah it's another spider-man game like you know what i mean don't get me wrong i like them i enjoy them i think they're a lot of fun but it's just you know Tony like the Spidey. I don't know all the cape shit, but I'll play Wolverine and Suicide Squad. You know, that Wolverine game looks like it could be very, very appealing. And let's be honest, we all fucking love Wolverine. Like, what's not to love about Wolverine? Tony like Spidey. He did. You, you had a lot of really, really good things to say about it. Dude, I want extra space. Where the fuck's the extra space at? Like 15 years when he comes out. <laughs> Wolverine as a story is trash. Sorry, hot take. Yeah, I'm like trying not to like have my head explode right now. Just kind of want to reach my hand right through the monitor. <laughs> we just got word that the feds have, to, uh, have Alan Wake in custody. He came out of the lake. He's dangerous. Everyone be on high alert. We need to take the writer out. Spread the word. They want to kill Alan Wake. The deer cult wants to kill Alan. Some people don't like Canadians and it shows. What does that have to do with anything? I don't like Canadians. I mean, who doesn't like Canadians? Fucking dicks, dude. Wolverine is Canadian? I mean, by blood, though. Are we sure about that? Can we get a blood check? I need an adult. Taz is sleeping. Your mods are all Canadian. That's not true. Shadow, I just I just identify Shadow as a Canadian. Arcane is 
almost Canadian, but he's not. Coyote's not. Coyote's a fellow Floridian. He lives right down the street from me. The portrayed is so accurate. <laughs> Come on, guy. <laughs> Are we going to talk shit about Canadians all day? Come on. Oh, Florida man. Listen, they just made a whole fucking video game about us that comes out in 2025, Rome. I wouldn't be talking shit about Floridians, all right? Fl Florida is about to become the best-selling game in history in 2025, okay? Don't fuck with us, okay? I'll make, I'll make you a DLC for GTA in a hot second, okay? You want to become DLC? Keep your pull, Gators. <laughs> Yo, know, just because we like to wrestle with gators, you know what I mean? Not a big deal. Is that a threat? No, I could never. I could never. I could never. I spent $150 on a game. Yeah, right. You will, you, Coyote, you should. You, you should totally get like the limited edition GTA because I know how much you love GTA. Is that hunting out there? Almost. We almost got down to there, Flack, uh, last week. We were almost there. You could just kind of pick them up off the sidewalk. Better than AZ DLC, better than base game. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, someone asked me if I watched the trailer or teaser or whatever you want to call it for the GTA, and I haven't. Cause I, I've, I haven't played GTA since like, uh, Vice city. Is that the one after three? I just, I've never, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know. The only thing I've ever been into the GTA is like just getting all the ridiculous cheats and then just running around doing whatever the hell I wanted. I feel like Florida is America. America is Australia sometimes. I mean, there's only three states really in the running for that position. It would either be Florida, Texas, or California. And like, I mean, they're the biggest ones. So it's, of course, we're going to have the most asshats. GTA died after San Andreas. Oh, I think I might have tried San Andreas as well. The trailer makes you want to rob a gas station or wrangle a gator. But I feel like that every other day driving down the street. So why would the game appeal to me? I'd still take iguanas over kangaroos. You know, that's a good point. Florida does have an animal comparison when compared to Australia. I mean, Texas has kind of got that too, though. Texas has kind of got that. I wonder if the statistic that there's more, there's more caged tigers, there's more tigers in captivity in Texas than there are in the wild. I wonder if that statistic is actually still accurate because that was a while ago. It is stupid late for my guy. It is stupid late right now. Why would there be caged tigers in the wild? Did I say it incorrectly? I might have said it incorrectly. There's more captive tigers. There's more tigers in captivity in Texas than there are actual tigers living out in the wild. Did I say it incorrectly? I probably did. I'm tired. Chill piano. That sounds nice. Ooh. Shake my head, my head. What are you going to do? You know what I'm trying to say, God damn it. Fucking Canadians, man. I swear to God. Go to bed. Now you said that, I don't want to. Now that you said that, now you said that. Now I don't want to go to bed. Now I want to stay up. What's going on Discord? 
Taz posted the GTS stuff. Hear what I mean, not what I say. Damn right. Load up Fortnite. I think Fortnite's already loaded up, to be honest with you. Sure, <laughs> I play a g quick game of Fortnite. <laughs> uh, I haven't played Fortnite in probably, I don't know, a year. I'm doing Durial runs. I'm on hardcore, bro. I think I'm level like 40 on hardcore. I don't think I could. I don't think I could play with you cool cats. Should make your own for own game in Fortnite creative. Dude, it's wild. Some of the stuff you can do in there. It really, really is Fortnite. Listen, love them or hate them, man. You, you can't, you can't knock them for what they made. Yeah, you die thinking about what we run. Oh, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it for a second. Obstacle courses and shit. Nah, like it's it's getting a lot more intense than even that coyote. They're like legit. It's like Flack said, they're basically making their own games in there now. I saw something. I don't know. I'd, I'd have to read into that. I might say it. It might not actually be true. I gotta do my research. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Not many people still on. Hmm. Not many people still on. All right, folks. Monster Hunter Rise, uh, Spider-Man 2, or World of Warcraft? Monster Hunter Rise, Spider-Man 2, or World of Warcraft? Vote very quickly so I can go to bed. Please. <laughs> wow. Warcraft? Oh, shit, look at that. Two votes. That wins. Everyone, I'll be out of here. Next stream. Next stream is going to be Thursday night where we do uh, Alan Wake's chapter. So come hang out with us then. I got a class tomorrow night. And then Friday night, we're going to be doing some more Boulders Gate 3. And if I have time Saturday night, I might sneak in a stream. But that's not on the schedule, so don't tell anybody. Oh, before I go. Before I go, I forgot to continue my secret. So I have a secret plan for uh, my daughters and Mrs. Merck. They're probably all sleeping, so they can't hear this, right? Uh, I've never hung up Christmas lights on our house. So I'm buying some Christmas lights, and I'm going to take off early from work one day, and I'm going to cover the house and some of our trees in Christmas lights and surprise all the girls when they get home one day. So we're going to pull in the driveway and the whole house is going to be lit up and all of them are going to be like freaking out. It's going to be a lot of fun. I might try to catch it on camera. I don't know if you guys can hear any of this, but I'm pretty excited. Even uh, Mrs. Merck doesn't know. So hopefully they enjoy. Love to see it. Right. I'm excited for it. Uh, let's go say hello to our good friend Fire Raven. I'm going to get the hell out of here. Join the Discord, follow the Twitter, all that BS. Protect your rear on your way home early. Why you gotta do that to me, bro? Why you gotta do that to me? I know I'm gonna have like PTSD for like go like leaving work early now. Buy extra extension cords. That is one thing I haven't gotten yet. I I do have to buy some extension cords. Ah. Yeah. The hell was that? Everyone, go say hi to our good friend Fire Raven. He's currently playing World of Warcraft. Uh, it's a game that Torn's probably going to be playing here soon because he keeps talking about it with his chat. That's what caused your accident. 
What? Not protecting Myra? No, it was. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm out of here. Spider? Jesus, man? That's what caused you. Oh, spider. Oh. <laughs> I'm leaving. 